Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module with some additions. Uh, my name is Buddy and I'll be helming this adventure while our normal Saturday night game Cold Hard Witch is on hiatus. If you joined us for our first adventure in the Candle Keep, you might notice some new faces. Let's see who we have here tonight, shall we? Uh, tonight we have Ben playing Sledge, the Seder Cronergy Wizard. Amy playing Riala, the Asimar Life Cleric. Z playing Raven, the Elf Mercy Monk. Panda playing Aerith, the Elf Psy Warrior Fighter. Grindy playing Gen, the Elf Soul Knife Rogue. And Pixie playing Narcissus, the Sorcerer Eloquence Bard. How is everyone tonight? Great. Good. So excited. Excited to be back. Awesome, yes. awesome. Uh, Candlekeep. The largest repository of lore and writings in all of the realms. Its vaults, it is said, contain enough hidden knowledge to make any person with the ability to discover and absorb it all powerful beyond compare. The problem with doing that, of course, is the same with secrets in any location. One must know that a secret exists before its details can be sussed out. Many of the assets at Candlekeep remain enigmas for years. Sometimes things are discovered to be dangerous or to contain instructions to elicit or hidden treasures, or simply to need verification. Candlekeep does not officially employ staff to deal with these situations, but they do keep a few groups of adventurers on retainer so that they can call upon them for these extracurricular activities. We begin tonight in a private tavern room. There's a gold dragonborn talking to an Asimar. The dragonborn is Master Sage Tomris, and she is the handler for all the adventurers that Candlekeep uses. The Asimar is Riala. Amy, would you like to describe Riala for us a little bit? Sure. I'm going to apologize in advance for the slight noise of a chainsaw behind me. Um, but <laughs> Riala is, she has very dark hair. Um, Chainmail armor. She carries a mace at her side and a big shield uh, that has um, a pattern of both like silvery star sort of shape patterns and then like a very dark um, like moon motif. So it's like, you know, kind of night like. Um, and yeah, she's just chilling. Probably awesome. with a disgruntled expression on her face. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> Riala, I know you're more comfortable with your normal crew, but I think you'd be very helpful on this mission. It isn't a stretch to call your group esoteric, but they are positively bland compared to some of the folks waiting for us. If nothing else, they may need large quantities of healing before things are over. Yeah, so what you're telling me is these people are awful and I'm going to have to keep them all alive. And if I don't, then I could end up dead too. Uh, well, n n both of us don't have to say it. I mean, look, you know, Redis has to appear before the high court with that business with Clunkett, and Careless is on sabbatical to the elemental plane of air for some damn reason, and Bertram is on his spiritual retreat with that business with... Well, you know what happened there. We, yeah, we don't need to talk let's... about that. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know how many times I can tell you I don't know where Mina and Cesar went. Uh, you are here, and I require your skills for a mission. All right. Well, what's in it for me? Well, we'll see what the client's paying. I mean, obviously you get your normal retainer fee that that uh, that allows you to be here, but we'll, we'll see what the client's paying. I, I don't know what the client's offering. Look, if you're going to send me out with a bunch of noobs who are going to die without me, then you're going to have to, you know, make it worth my while. Well, I don't know that they're noobs. They're just... You'll have to see for yourself. Oh, boy. I'm going to regret this, but all right. The two of you leave the private room and enter the main tavern. It's mostly empty. You make your way across the room through, through the tables, and you arrive at a door that looks very similar to the one that you just left. The Master Sage opens the door, and there you see the group that she has assembled for this mission. So we're going to go uh, in turn here with everyone describing themselves. Uh, Narcissus, why don't you tell us what, what we see? You see 
Well, you before you see her, you hear her. She's got a flute out and is playing it. But then in the corner, you see this kind of huddled away, but very loud looking person. Uh, she has strawberry blonde hair, is on the taller side of humanoids and um, is dressed up as one would expect a tavern wench almost a uh, barkeep you could see her just out in the side playing the music your your typical bard garb but there's something in the way her eyes look at you and then her face flashes and it changes slightly and it's mm. almost like she looks slightly more like you and it's like were you looking in a mirror for a second and then by the time you've moved on you she's back to the way she was before interesting very interesting uh okay how about gen uh gen is uh, a high elf with uh sort of um platinum blonde hair and uh, an eye patch over one eye the other eye you can see however it goes into sort of a pale yellow um he wears like black studded leather armor that reveals enough of his shoulders that you can see some tattoos on them, uh, suggesting an interesting life. Uh, he has a pair of dagger sheaths, but they seem to be a little, you know, impractically positioned, almost ornamental. You've never seen reaching for them. Okay. Um, and we move along to Aerith. Aerith is most likely sat next to Gen, actually. Um, she can, has a very similar resemblance to him. Also, like, platinum blonde hair. Um, very bright blue eyes, however, with this sort of tribal uh, face paint. A lot more heavily armoured, but as she moves her arm to drink, it doesn't make much sound, not what you would expect, expect from such heavy armour. Um, her weapons by her side, shield probably there, even in even in a relaxed situation. Um, very fair features, high elf again with very large pointy ears, and that's what she looks like. <laughs> um, sorry, I was distracted by the hype train that just started. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for for getting that going. Uh, we're going to continue with uh, a couple of these introductions here, and we'll and we'll come back to that and and touch base with people. Uh, I mean, Lore Explorers, Pixie, Blink, Effing Poop. Thank you so much. Uh, let's move around the room to the mysterious Raven. So you all see a tall woman of about five seven with long black hair. She's currently wearing a flowing blue robe. Which seems to fit to a more efficient uh, body than, than to be, you know, loose and caught on things. And one thing that you might catch or notice is that she's wearing a, a mask. She's got a full porcelain mask. It's white with little splashes of red right here. And she's uh, just sitting off in the corner with, with a thing of tea next to her. Just, Watching and observing everyone in the room. <clears throat> and now I hope I have saved the best for last. Please tell us, Ben, about Sledge. Well, as you enter, you see um, uh, about uh, tall for a satyr, about six foot. He has one of his. Uh, hooves up on a bench and he's standing and it looks like he's flexing a spell book and on the spell book is a image of a muscled arm with a wizard hat sitting right on the bicep and he's that and he looks up and he he notices uh the uh, two enter and he goes uh, uh, 1000 uh, 1001 uh, and as he stands to his height, the book actually continues to move up and down, even though now both his hands are, are off of it. 
He's wearing um, what looks like a very relaxed robe, dark blue with black lapels. And it's cut from a uh, shoulder in a V down to his belly button, revealing a well-oiled body, skin tone, bronzed perfection. And his curling horns go back in a crop of curly, almost uh, auburn, light auburn, reddish hair. And uh, as you enter, uh, he raises a hand and, hello, well met. Uh, why are we here? <laughs> so, Riala, as, as you and, and, and Master Sage Tomris stand in the doorway, taking all this in, you, you realize that someone has moved just behind the two of you. And she says, holy shit, Tomris, really? R really? Oh, yes, yes, come, 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 come inside. Everyone, uh, this is uh, Riala, and, uh, and this is Sarah of the Harpers, and, uh, and she has a job for all of you. And she more than, more than kind of gently gives you a push in, Riala, and uh, similarly to, to Sarah, and uh, now you are all together in the room. Any, any comments or reactions there, Riala, before we move forward? I just sort of look at this, um, the wizard book just like moving by itself. And I just look at Tamaris and just go and like sling my mace onto my shoulder, <laughs> like, because it's real heavy. And I'm just like, seriously. <laughs> Gonna be a throwdown in the tavern with the party. All and right. then I just look around at everyone, like, hi. It's all right. I can pull out the accordion and do some Benny Hill music if we need it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to get clearance from uh, copyright on that one. Um, uh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, I'm Aerith. Hello again. Are you two related? Twins. Mm. Is it obvious? Uh, a bit. Hmm. Pleasure to meet all of you. I hope this will be <laughs> advantageous for all. So, what's the job? Uh, sorry, I'm checking on hype train there. We, <laughs> we just cleared level two on that. And thank you to Damn Weirdo for 2,000 2, bits. Nice. Amazing. That, that could be four D twenties, or uh, or you could get two your random healing, or, or you yeah. could get your, get your character in here with us. Do you want to hang out with this fun bunch? What? <laughs> oh my! my I know that's let's, let, let's uh, damn weirdo. If you have thoughts on on how you want to distribute that, let us know. We're gonna, we'll do a little bit more uh, RP here, and then we'll we'll resolve that. Um. <laughs> Sarah just she she looks at all of you and takes it all in and she well uh, a few years ago I donated a book to the library here called the curious tale of wisteria Vale uh, it is a play about a heroic bard that becomes corrupted by evil on the surface anyway it contains, she pauses, very long pause, and then she kind of side eyes uh, Master Sage Tomris. It contains the secret to entering a demiplane created by the Harpers to imprison a bard named Errant Quill until we could free him from the influence of an evil artifact. And he's a former Harper agent and is a very valuable asset to us. Uh, Master Sage Thomas is visibly upset that this has been put into the library. Um, Sarah presses on though. Um, the, it's the, the, the book is, a it's a, a, it's bound in green leather, the leaves and vines carefully burned into the, the front and back covers. The title is embossed with gold on the front. Uh, no author is on the book. Uh, we thought that best. Um, we, we, we thought we knew where it was, but it seems to have been moved around in the library, and that's not unusual. Things 
things move from from stacks to stacks as they get re reclassified. Um, I, uh, I I know that that Candlekeep is is will be upset uh, that that we've done this, but we're looking to to recover this book, and uh, honestly, we're looking to recover Quill from the book, and uh, we are willing to pay. Uh, to, to have that done if if you're all interested in undertaking the job for us. So you just want us to go into a library and find a book? Well, and then we want you to go into the Demi Plane and find Quill and cure him and bring him back. Cure him oh. of what? I can only tell you so much about that, but suffice it to say, he had acquired a a cursed artifact that um, that that corrupted him. It, it it warped his mind, and we rather than let him just wreak havoc on on the world, we we locked him away until we could figure out how to reverse the effects of the curse. Um, and we we believe that we we have we have done that. Are so, you going to share with us how to do that? Well, yes, but first I, I need a commitment that that you're going to do the job. Oh, oh, an anonymous gifter just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you. You, hi. Anonymous gifter. Hype. Level anonymous. So thank you so much. That finishes our level three and puts us into a level four. Nice. Uh, so I, I, I would need a commitment before I can... I can tell you about the the plan for that. How much did you say the job pays? Well, I haven't yet, but uh, I'm I've been authorized to go as high as five thousand gold pieces. <laughs> and I presume that if the circumstances were to change, an example being if someone has checked out this book and we need to hunt them down or uh, this cursed item, somehow one of us ends up becoming scrambled by it. I imagine the price would go higher, right? Well, the item, he, he is not in possession of the item anymore. That, that is safely contained elsewhere. Uh, as far as locating the book, um, that is that that's kind of in in your court as problem solvers. So the book is here somewhere. Um, obviously, I'm usually in the gym or sauna areas. Uh, are there any? Uh, I don't know, pointers, maybe a direction where uh, uh, the book might have ended up here. She looks over at Tomris. Uh, uh, well, we, uh, we, are, we are looking into that. It, we, we, we can trace it uh, through a couple of different reshuffles and, and, and re, re, recatalogings. And then it seems to go astray, but we, but we have no record of it being checked out. So presumably it, it is here somewhere. I mean, how many books could there be to look through? A lot. A lot, a lot. There's well, probably a wall of books. It's like pointing at like the probably 50 to 100 books easily right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this demi plane, what can you tell me about it? Uh, I cannot tell you much about it because I have never seen it. Um, that's all, all I know as, as an agent is that it is a demiplane. And, uh, if I remember that demiplane was created by the Harpers, correct? Uh, correct. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I could always use cardio, uh, and he kind of puts, uh, his hands on his hips and as he kind of stretches out, uh, you'll notice, uh, uh, actually he has a, a a uh, pearl uh, earring on his nipple on one side, and he has a little, uh, looks like a muscled arm uh, symbol dangling from the other one as he kind of stretches out and he's kind of looking over towards uh, Riala. He's like, ah, ah. cardio always helps. I'm ready. 
and uh, he's definitely up and willing. Since you're so good at cardio, maybe you could carry this for me. <laughs> well, and he'll put out a hand and uh, obviously take hold of the mace, which as I'm sure As soon as your hand is like out, she drops it. <laughs> Hits the ground. <clears throat> One, one moment, and uh, I start to focus and uh, use the <laughs> telekinetic ability <laughs> to begin to help lift it. And I'm like, yeah, see, easy. And I'm still straining, but looking good doing it. Ugh. It's it's because of all those reps earlier with the book, I'm sure. And she just reaches out <laughs> and takes it back like really easily. Ooh, you and know, post workout. <sighs> Sarah Sarah turns back to Thomas. Really? Uh, really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, they're going to be great. They're going to be great. It's good. Good. Uh, uh, where were we now? Uh, yes. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna find the book and and free this quill person, and we you... will discuss putting books in the library that contain demi planes later. How would you feel about six thousand gold? You know, a nice even one thousand each. She eyes you all. Five thousand per. She she eyes you all very kind of closely across, and then back to the Tomris. I suppose that's within my my purview to to extend the price of that to six thousand. Per. I'm in. If she's in, I'm in. It sounds Why like it's a fun story to tell. I've got nothing better to do anyway. So Good. does this bar need to come back alive? Well, that is uh, certainly preferred, but it, it is it is one of the two. And everyone, roll a perception check for me, please. Right in the middle of her speaking. Mm. 22 30 good Ooh. night uh, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm looking at the spread here it's, the spread on my screen <laughs> is from five to thirty Ken just um, has like he just has x-ray vision <laughs> just sees all and i was uh, oiling up obviously uh what did you get uh riala 22 22 and then who is missing out of that i didn't roll on on beyond on oh, I, see. I, see. I rolled a, a crack and die here and i rolled an 18 an 18 so pretty much everyone except for sledge uh you hear <laughs> a, a, a a loud noise and commotion uh outside and then suddenly there's a just interrupting her a, a frantic frantic knocking on the door Thomas reaches over and, and opens the door. Yes, yeah, yes, what is it? And Riala, you would recognize this as uh, as Edward. He is the uh, uh he is the the ruffian that uh you all sent uh, back to aw, become a uh an acolyte. An acolyte. Oh yeah. Uh, much to the uh the displeasure of the master chagrin. Sage. Yes, absolutely. Uh, 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 you, 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 you must hurry. Candle keep. Uh, we're, we're, and slow he, down. He almost can't get it out. He just looks at you, dead. Candle keep is under attack. Uh, by who? From from where? Uh, and in in he just I I I, I uh, just, just out there. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And so Master Sage pushes him aside, and she heads out the room. I follow. I says we we'll turn to Sledge and go, you have a little competition again? And run out the door. Say, so, uh, oh, no, no, no. You get back here. And he starts, uh, he, it kind of starts as like a slow run, you know, like the uh, Baywatch type run. And then he's like, all right. And then he uh, goes running out after uh, Narcissus. So he keeps talking about cardio. Is he actually winded at that? Or does oh, he yeah. have, does oh, he yeah, have yeah, good yeah. cardio? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. 
and he's made it to the door now. Um, <laughs> I imagine he's got a little a little oxygen mask. Uh, just while we have this little break, we have just completed a level five five, or we're just about to complete a level five five train. We reached one hundred and seven percent, so that's a fifty dollar. Yes. Uh, Make sure to enter the giveaway, everyone! Exclamation mark giveaway. Keep yes. it up. Uh, amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, so uh, we sledge. Before, thanks you. Before we get too far out in that, we need to figure out. Uh, I'm going to run through and thank people. You guys think about what you want to do with that 2,000 bits. So contributing to this to this hype train, we, we thank you so so much, everyone. There's lore explorers, Pixie, uh, Blink, Effing Poop. Uh, damn weirdo, Pixie again, Pixie again, uh, anonymous with five gifted subs, Pixie with five gifted subs, damn weirdo again, and Pixie again. Thank you so much, everyone. That is, it's it's generous and and amazing, and we just have kind of the greatest viewers and community ever. Yes, to all of that. So, what do you guys want to do on? the 2000 bits do you want to do uh two healing potions uh what, what was the breakdown on that panda i so it could be um either two healing potions or four d20 inspirations so personally i would save the four d20 inspirations honestly yeah i think so yeah i think that um Agreed. And what we normally do for that is we all roll a d20 and obviously the, the, the highest uh four will get a d20 inspiration and i believe that also includes the dm so <laughs> oh i, I i'm sorry I've just, I've just been corrected it's not blank effing poop it's blink thing poop apologies <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's live everyone live that's how it goes. Uh, yes. All right. Well, so let's everybody Whoa. roll ourselves a d20. Oh, okay. Okay. 19. <laughs> Can you really blame him with uh, Sledge in the party? He's definitely thinking about effing. Like... <laughs> All right. So, so far we have Panda with a 19, the DM with a 17, Z with an 11, Gen with a 12, Narcissus with an 8. Uh, I don't know why I came across, but I only got a 4. <laughs> shocking shocking it slipped uh, out of my head and riala with a 16 so that looks like panda and the dm and riala and gen all get a d20 inspiration please mark your sheets thank you thank you thank you everyone uh that is uh, just amazing d20 inspo uh all right so you as you as you leave the room you uh and you're into the 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 tavern proper the it, it is it, it is loud outside you you hear voices you hear screams you you hear the unmistakable sound of spells going off um it it sounds real deal out there and so i'll give you guys basically just kind of a round to have a quick chat and then we'll proceed forward with that I was intending to uh, vanish like a ninja and stealth my way out to the battle. Okay. Anybody else have anything to? Uh, and we have uh, one round. So let's see. Uh, you'll see uh, Sledge uh, kind of looks around. He goes, oh, well, this should be exhilarating. And he kind of reaches into his pouch. And uh, you actually see a, a dung bell. And uh, as he uh, pulls it out, he actually uh, kind of throws it up and it hovers and he starts to cast and it looks like the, the dung bell is going translucent. Um, and uh, as it does, the spell uh, goes off, greater invisibility, and he goes, oh, and he catches it and he goes, oh, oh, and he squeezes this arcane energy oh, into a tiny little moat. Ugh. Whew, that's what almost got away from me. And uh, he takes the moat and he looks around. He goes, oh, Aerith, well, you look like you could benefit from this. And he hands it to you. And that is greater invisibility using my um, 
uh, ability as a chronology wizard. I have condensed that spell for you. Uh, it's good for one hour. And uh, when you uh, cast it, it goes off. It uses uh, your concentration and your greater invisible. Uh, and uh, in doing so, Sledge has worked up a bit of a sweat, a bit of a sheen. And he's like, Whew. all right, let's do this. And he's ready. I'm impressed, funny man. <laughs> so just to clarify, I, I, it's not activated currently. I can activate it later. Yes, oh, exactly. That's awesome. Exactly. Uh, you see, he thinks you shouldn't be seen in public. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, next to him, no one should be. Agreed. <laughs> You'll see Narcissus kind of run her hand down her clothes and being like, no, 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 this won't do at all. And um, not only does her outfit shift... But also, she casts mage armor on herself. <laughs> nice, S smart, smart. I just, Riala? I just, I just pull out my rapier. <laughs> Riala is gonna take a quick look around at the party, just do like a quick little mental evaluation, and cast bless on herself and the twins. Okay, very nice. That's uh, one minute on bless. Is that right? Yeah. Ten rounds. All right, if you could keep track of that bless, that would be amazing. And so we're going to switch the map over here. You all burst out the front door. And so we'll be, this is a large map. It takes a second to load. Uh, and we'll be kind of on the bottom right hand. There's uh, some that's some area that's opened up. There's a way to focus everyone, but I don't know what that keystroke is. Everyone find the Court of Air? Yep, I found it. Um, looking at the one, yeah, for on the stream, uh, scroll to the, all the way to the right and then down. Live, everyone. There we go. There it is on the stream. Uh, okay. I'm going to Take that music out and put in that one. Uh, okay, so you, you step out of the tavern and it's just everything around you is just rocked by the sound of an explosion very close by. Um, maybe somewhere kind of over in this area by the sounds of it. Um, and... We're going to allow you guys just a little bit of movement, and uh, then we'll see where it goes from there. So uh, let's just take the party in the order that it is here. We'll say, uh, Sledge, you get the first move since you're on the top left there. Sledge would have it no other way. And uh, let's see. Um, being a satyr, I actually get to move 35. Um, however, if anything starts to... Uncover, he will stop. I think uh, I think I'll probably go to here. Am I seeing anything around the corner or anything crazy up in this way? Uh, I'm doing some polygon reveal right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you in fact do see kind of a lot going on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah. Uh, and he goes back into the tavern. <laughs> he just does a 180 turn like, nope, nope. <laughs> Burns away. So so he uh, uh, comes to here, uh, which was 25, and then he's going to go ahead and come back uh, uh, 10 and uh, look at the group and uh, be like, um, uh, obviously I could <laughs> take them all, but the, there are quite a few. And he uh, points in uh, this direction uh, and let, let it, the group know he saw about five folks up there. And that is it. All right. Um, I'll allow everybody else to move, but not an attack before we roll initiative since Sledge got to move. Yeah. And now that he has keyed you in that there are things... Aerith will uh, storm forward once again, incredibly quiet considering the the heavy armor she's wearing, and uh, will kind of get a better look, almost barging past Sledge as she walks by. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay. Briella uh, does the exact same thing on the other side. So <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh, I lo- I like the idea of it being like in tandem and we like push we squish them together, we look at each other like nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Sledge is like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Rella's a little giant. bit like, oh. Yes. <laughs> just come oh, away kind of greasy. Yeah, like, you slide, yeah. Oh, you slide off. Yeah, no, definitely. It's swoop. Well, I tell you what I've been wondering is when you said that he ran and was, was sweating, how do you tell the difference in your oil glisten and your sweat glisten? We can come back to that. I want yeah. you to think about that. <laughs> um, Why he does cardio, even though he's so bad at it, it's to get that shine going. <laughs> <laughs> is the oil shine not enough? That's my question. Uh, all right, so Narcissus, you're going to move up as well. You also take in the uh, the horror of it all. <laughs> is there a question? Is there any like cover or anything to try and sneak up there behind? Uh, unfortunately, what you see is what you get. It, this is just a, right. a, a, bl- a blank open courtyard. Fair enough. Then he will stick by his sister and uh, come up here, up this way. Okay. Put something to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining Raven just hiding behind Sledge. <laughs> uh, Raven, would you like to make a move, or are you gonna wait until we roll in? I'm. Uh, I'm gonna move. I'm going to. Uh... Get myself out into the midst of everything. Get all the way up to here. Be in the middle of everything. Running out <laughs> to the middle. All right, so now <laughs> I'm going to pop the turn tracker up. Uh, everybody, make sure that your token is selected and roll initiative, and that'll add you to the order. Oops. not used to playing a level 11 character. I'm like, when you have to scroll for your actions, it's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, so imagine, much choice. Imagine my pain. Oh my gosh. There's a reason I didn't go for like, a spellcaster. <laughs> well, I didn't go caster, yeah. just so I didn't make Buddy's life so much easier. <laughs> yeah, we've had a number of different com- conversations about spells. <laughs> for some reason, my initiative rolled twice. I'm not sure why. Mm. Oh, probably because on are you if you're rolling it from D and D Beyond, you might be set to advantage initiative. But it took, gave me the sixteen, so whatever, it's fine. Let's we'll just roll with that. Oh, uh, are you wearing heavy armor? Oh no, you must have pressed it twice, and it just took the second one. So we'll right. we'll just we'll adjust it back to the my bad, the twenty four. And the nice thing about it is you can always just click on the box and edit it. Oh, yeah. Sending. Uh, all right. So I will say this, that currently neither of the groups has noticed you. There is there is chaos. There's lots of things going on. So neither See of them are, are currently eyeing you down. That cardio helps. Sledge ran out there, but came back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, it is your uh, your action. Hey, do, do I know which direction we want to be going right now? Uh, I mean, I guess it would depend on what you think you want to be doing. Uh, uh, you well, know that it, the, the explosion sound came from here, um, and but you can also hear fight noises and things from this side. If you'd like to make a perception roll uh, that that would count as your action but i can give you more information about yep. about the situation i'll do that 20. uh okay so you can see that on uh this side here to the east there are a number of candle keep monks that are trying to get the gatehouse door uh the, the gate shut and you can currently see through and out onto the peninsula uh i i'm gonna reveal it but there's no there's nothing really to see much, but you can see kind of out here, there's all sorts of fighting going on. Uh, there are 
candle keep monks there are uh, like uh, different magic users there are uh, melee combatants there are more of these giant creatures like the one that's uh, inside the gate here and on the west side the uh, you know that the emerald door which is what separates the court of air from kind of the library proper it seems to have been blown off of its moorings and is unceremoniously laying on the ground and there's there's rubble and there are people you know in, in the debris and and with a 20 um all of you know that the, one of the the emerald door the keepers of the emerald door one of them his name is karen he's a half elf and he's always nice to all of you as adventurers he you guys pal around a little bit uh he's kind of one of your favorite people here you can see that he is seemingly unconscious with rubble piled atop of him um kind of in the midst of all those guys so certainly in a bad way uh so that would leave you with move and bonus all right um okay let's see and or so if I... you want if you want to bark an order back to the group or, or an information bark i'll give you a quick little you know blurb to um yeah so that guy who was down he was over here you said in the middle of these people yes or okay mm -hmm. yep yeah all right probably gonna want to help him um yep i will start heading this way oh my goodness okay that's uh okay so the squares to feet are not exactly yeah the uh, when i put the grid overlay on this map it gotcha. i had to mess with it a lot so it um understood understandable um yeah, I, I, I am going to start moving up there. Hmm. Um, but I'm not going to get in range of anyone yet. I am going to telepathically talk to my sister mm -hmm. and say, uh, there's someone hurt over in the West amidst all those people. And you, you know him. You know it's it's Karen. Okay, yeah. Yep. I'll say that it's Karen. Um, am I able to respond? I think that uh, the yeah. this spell is uh, one way. I don't think it is like message. Is that true on, on your specific uh, telepathy? Yeah, you, yeah, my specific telepathy, you can't necessarily I, respond. Cool, cool. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Anything else, again? Uh, That's me for now. All right. Aerith. Forgot that was my name for a second. I was like, Aerith. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so out of it. Um, okay, so I will. Uh, hearing my my brother tell me this, uh, I, will, I I think I'm still next to uh, Riala, and I will just kind of turn to her and and say, my brother spotted um, my brother spotted an injured man over there, and I'll I'll, I'll point to the direction. Um, you're a cleric, right? And almost before she has time to answer, Aerith just charges forward. Um, we are looking at, um, I'm trying to, so do we recognize the people over in the left? Do we recognize these guys? You do not. Okay. And I take, we don't recognize this big guy either. <laughs> uh, you do current, you do not recognize that big guy either. Okay. Certainly it, none I... of them, you don't get a good vibe off of any of them. Oh, any of them. Okay. All right. Well, there, Strangers. there are people hurt and none of these people are. So. Right, I see, I see. And they seem, I presume, I don't know if you need me to roll perception, but is it like they're working together? Uh, it's a little too chaotic to quite tell that, right. but that might not be a bad assumption. Being being brave as heck. I wonder, can I get to this guy? Oh, that's, oh, how much of this, are they five feet? No, that's what I was saying, that when I put the grid on, I, I tried working with the sizing, <gasps> but I just got funky on time. So that so it is, so it's not five feet per square. Correct. They're like twelve foot squares, which is funky. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. I can only. We'll go. say you could do. We'll say you could do three squares, just because the map is. You shouldn't be punished for the map being weird. All right. I'll go three squares. Um, and just be charging forward. Um, I'll actually. 
take a dash action to one, two, three, move even closer. Um, and that's that's all I can do, really. Um, I, I, yeah, I, th- I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Raven. Alrighty, so presuming you swear since the three square she's able to move, that'd be 10 foot squares for us. Yeah, they're actually. I think I think they're twelve foot squares, unfortunately. Yeah. But but yeah, I'll say if you have thirty foot move, I'll say you can do three squares. Well, I got fifty five feet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, forget monk. you're a monk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was tempted to make it a sixty five speed to mess with you, but that's nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then a uh, on fifty five feet. That's what four and it has basically five squares. For our moves, that'd be sixty feet. So, I'll let you. I'll let you do the five. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, I see the uh, the one twin going left, the one twin going right. Well, I'm gonna do my best to help the one on the left. So I'm gonna start my way over. I'm going to move myself to right here, and. Uh, to get an idea of what's going on while also currently dodging because don't know exactly who, who all is in that mix and what they are capable of yet. Right, right. And as I move, my uh, my, my blue robe changes to a form-fitting ninja-esque outfit for, for fighting purposes. Nice. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Anything else? Um, just dodge action. That's it. Alrighty. Sledge. <laughs> the sledge. Um, so, uh, seeing the group kind of getting split in two different directions here, um, sledge will move towards Riala. I'll uh, get to about here, and. Uh, he looks over and he uh, sees this group of folks here. Um, he goes, well, <sighs> may as well give them uh, some pointers on how to lift. And the dung bell arcane focus comes up and um, I will be casting, uh, hopefully, synaptic static um, right about here, which is a 20 foot. Um, What's the range on that? It's 120 feet. So I was going to cast it. Yeah. Boom. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> and, and so that's a, that's a 20 foot. It is. 20 uh, foot radius, radius. I believe. So it, it looks like you can hit red and pink and purple and blue with that. Excellent. And uh, as the uh, dung bell uh, comes up and the arcane energy begins to form, uh, it looks like he takes uh the two ends of the dung bell, like the weights, and he just slaps them together. And you get that huge weight sound when two weights slap together at the gym. <laughs> Dong! And uh, that is what he sends in their direction. Um, that is, let me see if I can, boom, a DC 19 uh, for the intelligence save. Yeah, just have to look up what that is. All right, so int saves. Let's see. This is probably not going to go well. You mean it's going to go great? It's going to go I mean, awesome. It's going to go awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> when you're part of a team. <laughs> All right. So, red you and full bl- <laughs> neutron on this with brain blast? Yeah. Right, so. All right. Red, red and blue both fail. Um, and then purple and pink. So I'm using different uh, character sheets for them here. It is all a groovy. Holy shit. All right. All four of them fail <laughs> with you should horrific spend... Kraken rolls. You should spend more time at the gym. You get used to this kind of distraction. Uh... And so that's 31 psychic damage. Yes. And um... gracious. They also, all four, will take a uh, minus D6. Um, Let me make sure the uh, reading here, the 
uh, uh, yes, a minus D6 from all of its attack rolls and ability checks. Boom, boom. And constitution if they're casting a spell. A minus D6, you said? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, in doing so, like after the the, <laughs> the weight slam together, he kind of looks at Riala and he's like, little flex, like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She just uh, kind of shakes her head like this guy. <laughs> it's almost like though. it's almost like new Carolus. <laughs> um, Can't see it, but behind the mask, I'm, I'm slightly grimacing at the thought of what's going on behind me. <laughs> uh, all right, so is that complete your turn, Sledge? Um, let's see. I believe. Uh, yep, nothing else is within range. That is it. All right, so it's Green's turn now. Um. I think that just having watched you do that. Do what? Green, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, having watched his friends uh, suffer a bit, uh, he is going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Oops. On his compatriots. And that is... 3d8 plus spellcasting mod. Uh, what level spell is that? Uh, that is a fifth level spell. Oh, I don't think it matters. I, I'm, I'm nowhere near. So, yep, beautiful. Oh, you're gonna try that. Uh, I was. I was. Try that old counter spell, huh? I was. <laughs> Sledges reach is long, just not that long. <laughs> uh, okay, so they all get. A little bit back, not as much as you had taken from them. That's all right. I am mad about it. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I don't. I think he is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just the opening foray. No. I'm so glad that Peter taught me that you can just do plus and minus to the circles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when Sean Laird thought he was just like, wait, no math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and you know what? He's going to actually spend a little bit of movement and maybe not make them in a giant group. Uh, Riala. Okay. Seeing everybody split up is making Riala nervous. She's like, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. So she's going to try and just move like here-ish because I don't want to be too far away from anyone necessarily. And um, for this question with mm -hmm. this weird map, so... And this guy's super big. Is he mm -hmm. in 120 to me, or do I need to be yes. like, okay, he is? Yes. Okay. Uh, then because he, he's the, the 15 by 15, so you're, yeah. you're entering that square with your arrow, so. Okay, I am going to cast Guiding Bolt at him at second level. Okay. That's a, that's a roll to hit, is that right? Yes, that is 16 plus 8, 24 to hit. That is a hit. Second level is 5d6. <laughs> Not great rolls. I like the clickety clacks. He is 6 plus 8, 14 damage. 14 points of damage, all mm -hmm. right. Minus 14. Um, and uh, then, so she like extends out her arm and it's just like a blast of like, it looks like the trail of a comet, like just sparkly, glittery, like blast that just hits him and just kind of like lights him up. And he looks like he's like covered in stardust for a minute there. And so the next roll against him has advantage. The next single roll or for the every the roll? Next for the next attack minute? roll against him has advantage. Single attack. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking Fairy Fire, not Guiding Bolt. Yeah. Sorry, my flavor was confusing. That's all right. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. So we move forward to this guy who is going to cast a spell, but it's going to be a fun spell. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, it's. All spells are fun spells. Except except Everybody for this one, I'm sure. The cedar? <laughs> hey now. Hey now. Uh what? <laughs> okay. So he's gonna move a little bit. One, two, three to there, and then he is going to cast lightning bolt and so that will streak from him 100 feet so gin and sledge will both need to make a deck save excellent um, versus versus dc okay yes versus his dc and don't forget your blast I shall make your deck save. Uh, however, as a reaction, um, you will see uh, the sweat that has built up from Sledge mixed with the oils. You asked why I do both? Absorb elements, that's why. And uh, <laughs> as a reaction, I cast absorb elements and my greasy, sweaty, oily skin absorbs some of this damage. All right, let me get this deck. Do you sizzle? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Very so, uh, uh, Aerith. Yes to your question. Um, oh, and all right, good deal, both of you. Uh, you make the you beat the save, so you only take half damage. Uh, but it is still eight d six. Just for viewers, instead of uh, dashing, I would have activated the uh, greater invisibility granted to me by Sledge. Don't forget the Sledge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up down. All right, so you both take uh, 13 points of lightning damage. And then would that be halved again for the absorb elements on my side there? Uh, yes, so it would be six for you. Ooh. <laughs> Smoking. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. And you smell like is... toasted coconut now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Listen, coconut, hints of vanilla. <laughs> hmm, not that was a bit that was a bit shocking. <laughs> um this guy is gonna take the dash action because he is not smart. Uh Narcissus. Uh radio. So I'm gonna step forward to here. Um and just kind of shout. Um, we need to get these doors closed if the Emerald Gates are down. And then I'm going to just use my crossbow to hit at the big guy. And so you'll make that at advantage, is that right? Because of the guiding bolt sparkles? Ooh. Yep. Crit Sparklies. Well, it's 23 to hit. Uh, 23 hits. That's 8 damage. Um... And as a, yeah, no, I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All good. All right. Um, see, now I've got the Ryan thing where I didn't hit the the repeat button. I'm mm. sorry. I tried to let you know a while ago. I'm sorry. Oh, did you? I, I I'm sorry. Was that in in the Zoom chat? It's all right. It yeah. makes sense. Narcissus turns happened, and then the music starts playing. Again. And then it starts. Yeah. See that? You... I've taken out my bandolier and I started playing. <laughs> to get us all in the fighting mood. <laughs> <laughs> let me minimize this window so it's out of my way. Okay. Uh Oh man, this this is. It's going to be a tough spread out fight for everyone. I think this guy is going to come over because he is also not 
not super smart as well. <laughs> Only dummies oh. dash. <laughs> uh, by the oh, way, for buddy, sure, for sure. I, I apologize. Uh, both, I'm sorry, all three, purple, red, and blue, uh, would get a save to shake off that D6 um, from their ability check. If they int, fail, it's still there, but. Yeah. Int, int save? Yes, sir. All right, so it's red. Well, you hit four of them, so I guess so pink would get one as well. Yeah, it's at the end of their turn, but I just didn't. Oh, well, about I see. It. I see. Yeah. Pink hasn't yeah. gone yet. Yeah. All right. So okay. let me. All right. Red has failed. And. Blue. What was the DC? Uh, 19. I'm going to say blue has failed as well, unfortunately. And shit. Purple at 19. Purple, I think, has failed as well. Yeah, I still wow. have the ringing in their ears. That is a that is a good spell save, DC. Um, it's it's right. the workout, man. The workout. This guy is actually going to move out of your view through the where the the hole where the emerald door once was, and so he has he has gone in, and you do not see where he went. I <laughs> gotta look at my distances here. I really wish I'd have spent more time now on making the uh, the map squares work out. One, two, three. Man, Triel is just out of my range. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Almost like she knows you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Uh, it's true, though. Well, that's all right. Uh, he knows that this is about to be some some badness. So he's going to move over to and he is going to also cast Lightning Bolt, uh, which looks like it will only go through Raven. So I need a deck save, please, Raven. All right. Well, I've been, I was dodging, so I have advantage on this. Oh, yes, you were. Yes, you were. All right. That is a 27. That beats. So you'll take <laughs> half damage. Yeah, 14 and 16. Also, more two dice. I have evasion. Yes, you also have evasion as well. Yes. I kind of just oh, duck underneath that, it as it goes by. Evasion knocks it down to zero, doesn't it? Yes, if I succeed. Right, just put all those dice back out of my tray. <laughs> Fine. Uh, all right, uh -oh. big guy. Now we're over to him. And he has only three squares as well. He's not that big. <sighs> That's because he stood far away. Yeah, he gets closer. Sledge is like, oh, it's he's, that he's bigger now. Thing. He's bigger now. Uh, not not seeing uh, uh, Aerith, he is heading for Narcissus because she shot him with the Pokey Pokes. Um, he is going to use his rock attack. So he's going to huck a giant rock at you. Uh, 14. 14 hit. So a, a, a very large sized rock just kind of whizzes past you and hits the ground near you, but not near enough to scare you. Uh, and then he roars with with madness. Um, finishing his turn, you guys can see that the um, the monks over here by the, the gatehouse, by the main entrance, they start, they're starting to get that, uh, that door kind of shut a little bit. Just, Lots of chaos outside, but they seem to be holding that line for the moment. So they are they are in progress on that. Uh, again. All right. So uh, someone else, someone got hit with guiding bolt earlier. Who was that? That was the big guy. Oh, okay, then, so that's already been used up. I think yeah. 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 Right. yeah. With the yeah. crossbow, used it. Yeah. All right. Well, then I know who I'm targeting. Uh here out of everyone's way should i assume that these squares are basically like are each five feet 
no, 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 they're, 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 they're twelve. They're twelve feet. So if you have we, oh, can, east, we can move. We can move. Feet. We can move three squares though. Oh, okay, three squares. All right. So yeah, if, if you have a thirty, if you have a thirty foot move, you can do three squares. Okay, that's a little different then. All right. Hey, curiosity for the rogue: How do you handle uh, flanking? Yeah, that is a good question. How do you? Are, are we doing flanking rules? Yes, I I like it, and I, I know Sean does a plus one, but I actually like the regular flanking advantage rule better. But it has to be exactly opposed; it can't be kind of next to. So, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So if well, you move one square north, you'll get. So oh, I could sorry, move you here and have flanking yeah. on this guy. Yes, you could. Okay, I'll do it. Move up there, oh. and then I'm going to uh, again. It just sort of flicks out an empty hand, and then a glowing red blade just sort of appears in it um, as he's stabbing forward at this guy with it. Um, and I'm That's disconcerting. To... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me go ahead and attack with my psychic blades. Um, so that'll give me advantage, uh, right? Yep. Okay. And so if, um, if you're rolling from D and D beyond, if you hold shift, when you click it, you should get advantage on it. But if you go ahead and roll okay. again if for your second roll. Okay. I'll roll again and hold shift. Uh, well, that'll roll. Because that'll, I, have, that'll I, have, I have, I have Elvin, uh, accuracy feet. So you get to make three rolls. Ooh. Yep, so 19 is the one that's going to hit though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 19 will <laughs> hit. I'm, I, why did I pick level 11? Why? <laughs> why? Buddy's head spinning. Why? No, this is Didn't play anything. Big. Yeah, 19 <laughs> hits. So, oof. Oof. Nice. 11 psychic damage with another 21 oof. for the sneak attack. Oh, my goodness gracious. So that's a total of 32. And then I get to use my bonus attack. Uh, with his other hand, he stabs forward and another, a second blade appears. Um, that one only does. Well, let's see, let's attack with that first. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's, oh, so yeah, the 29 will be it. Well, the 29 is also a crit. Yep. And so, uh, I don't, I don't know if your settings are set to do it, but the, the way I do crits is you get the full base damage and then you roll one more time and add that to it rather than doubling your dice. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you automatically do your max damage and then you roll for the additional damage. Okay. So that's... I hate when so crits are like... The second one's only one D, second one's only a D4, so the max damage is... Four. Nine. Oh, yeah. Eight. yeah. So it's eight. four plus 1d4 plus your 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 other additive your your five okay items. okay all right let me go ahead and just roll the damage to like that it's a pain with rogues to do and it that way plus, and, and then yeah. plus four yeah. uh sneak attack only applies once per round i think so correct yeah. that is just 12 extra damage on top of what 12? i did before okay. so uh, it was 32 before so that is 43 mm -hmm. damage total psychic yeah, that's a that's a pretty good round. Uh, I'd be I'd be happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> you mark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else? Nope. That'll leave my turn. All right, Aerith. Invisible me. I'm gonna head forward in front of this guy, um, and <laughs> just start swinging uh, with my plus one rapier. Um, because so i get three attacks a turn uh so i'm gonna roll three and then i get to add the bless as well you're also invisible well, so it's also invisible so you get advantage on all of them I get advantage on all of it yes fish. and since it's, it, Carol. Uh, since it's gi it doesn't break when you attack so oh. as long as you don't get hit and lose concentration mm -hmm. you have it for 10 rounds okay so that's first hit is a natural 20. Yeah. Uh, so oh. that is thirty to oh, hit. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so it's, it's max max damage <laughs> plus the thing. So that would be uh, eight plus six. 
Uh, my brain is not working. 14 uh, on the first one. Uh, okay. The second is a 27 to hit. That hits. Uh, which is so that's 12 damage. And then the next one is also a, 70, so that's a 27 to hit, um, which is another 12 damage. Uh, Amazing. So <laughs> I didn't tally that before saying it all. That's, <laughs> my brain. that's all right. I, I, every time you I, I hear the damage, I, I do a subtraction. So I have oh, I do it running as running total. So yeah, that's uh, he is he's very confused and very unhappy about being smacked by something he can't see. <laughs> Um, Just a lot of slashes going. Yeah. Also slashes. Uh, anything else for Aerith? Um, let me think. I don't... How bad does he look? Does he look really bad or does he just kind of look touched? No, no. No, he, he looks fine. <laughs> then I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. He works it. out. He works <laughs> out. I will, I will leave it at that then for now. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, you... Uh, I mean, he's huge. So, you know, he's, he's still looking pretty good. He has a good pool. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to say that it is Raven's turn. And <laughs> I, I have moved two of my not smart people right up, right up. On what can a monk do in so. six seconds? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find a out. A long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Who, uh, who are you going to take out? Well, I'm going to start with the uh, blue bond and sitting right in front of me, the blue bandit. Okay. And I'm going to start by uh, throwing a few punches at him. We'll see what happens. Oh, with that beautiful advantage footage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, 24 to hit. That'll hit. Next. The... 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, 10 points. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Stand by on that. He has an ability. Yes, Not that guy, this guy. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, how much damage? 10? Yeah, that was 10 points. Okay, minus 10. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to. Throw one one punch at the red one up there. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Throw a straight roll. Twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two will hit. Um, I have temporarily lost control of my roll twenty window. Uh oh, we win! <laughs> <laughs> the monk has broken yet another game. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. What was the uh, what was the the hit. hit? That was a 22. 20, 22 hits. Mm -hmm. And that one will take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And uh, can you please try to make a Constitution saving throw as I try to daze him, my stunning so, fist? So this is a con save, but it is lessened from the synaptic static. Is that true? Uh, no, it's ability checks and uh, attacks. Oh, oh, so not saves. Okay. No, sir. Uh, so that is a 19 for his con save. Oh, that, that's more than plenty. <laughs> Take note, I don't want to be stunned. <laughs> uh, all right, what else? What else you got? And then I will flurry of blows. I will red. turn and swing a kick at Mr. Blue. On blue, okay. That is a Kraken. I have a, I have a three and a Kraken. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I suppose that hits. <laughs> and uh, since I use the key point for Flurry of Blows, I can, Way of Mercy Monk, I can do Hands of Harm and Heal, which allows me to add a D8 plus three necrotic damage to my, my attack. So. As I reach out and swing my fist, or sorry, swing my foot, I uh, kick him upside the head, but you notice a faint glimmer as a whole lot of black feathers just brush down the leg as they reach out and flow upon Mr. Blue. Disturbing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see, that's... Five plus. 
That will be 33 points of damage between physical and necrotic. Uh, he is he is not looking great. Uh, he's uh, he's beyond what you might call bloodied. Uh, <laughs> he is realizing the error of his ways of moving him next to you. Uh, anything else you'd like to do to him? Uh, oh. So yeah, I have uh, one more attack. Why not? I will throw nice. the second one at him. <laughs> that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. One and, thir- and fourteen on that. <laughs> and then that'll be eight more points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah, he's still uh, still not looking super. <laughs> <laughs> you see him maybe re- recounting his life choices a little bit. I just look. I just look at him from behind my mask, and it's like, "You should never have come here." (laughs) I know. (laughs) Never Uh, should have come here. Is this art reflecting life for you right now, buddy? (laughs) Uh, These are just fodder. This is good. (laughs) Learning what you guys are capable of is—it's totally worthwhile. So, Uh, that was yeah. That was a brutal round of damage, though. Uh, Anything else, Raven? Um. I'll cover for now. All right. Mm-hmm. Sledge. Ooh. Uh, so seeing kind of the battlefield working out, uh, Sledge will slow walk by Riala. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, fam, uh, how you doing? Uh, how you doing? Um, all right. She and just then... swings her mace. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> almost almost <laughs> hits uh, Sledge on the way. Um, <laughs> So when I get to here, I kind of see uh, these two capable uh, warriors taking care of business. Um, I don't think I'm within 90. That's a a thing. Uh, Am I within 90 of the big guy? How do I figure that out again? I always forget. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, you're so close, 95. So one, two, so I have one more so I can, if I go there, yes, excellent. Yep, 83. Um, so I'm going to go there and, um, kind of looking over in the direction of, of the big guy here, uh, the dung bell comes up, uh, except this time, uh, Sledge kind of looks at it and then looks past towards the big guy and he's like, ah, well, let me show you what a true chest work, uh, workout looks like. And you see the pecs start to bounce. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun. Don't. And as it does, uh, arcane energy actually flies from from the pectoral missiles, as uh, Sledge calls them, and uh, strikes out as I cast uh, Tasha's Mind Whip uh, on the creature. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh! Uh, it save. Oh, this is this is gonna go well because he's smart. All right, we're plus zero to this, uh, 13. Excellent. Um, so as Sledge's pectoral missiles uh, slam uh, into his mind, he takes nine points of that damage. And next turn, he can actually uh, only move or attack um, or bonus action. Uh, he can only do one of the three. Okay. Uh, when it gets to when it, since he's at the bottom, when it gets there, remind me of that. But I, I can only do one thing. Not a problem. And uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He's just out, and that is all. Sledge will do. Uh, and of course, there's a wink uh, towards Riala. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. Uh, awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Move up to green. But first, we're going to say thank you to Dark Horse 1975 for 100 bits. Let's there is a jade out there somewhere good. lifting a leviathan. <laughs> oh wait, here's I don't have I don't have the le- but look, this you, is no, how move big... it closer to the camera to make it like perspective, see, yeah. yeah. See, this is uh this is actually the same Leviathan. It's just sledge is that big, you know, like it just <laughs> it looks that small. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. You should be holding that the really, really small one that comes with the set. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, the uh, this this isn't going super well for my guys here, and uh, they're starting to figure that out. Does that mean so, they're gonna stop dashing? Oh gosh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> see, seeing that you're starting to uh, starting to really get some get some hits in, Green is also going to disappear uh, through the remains of the Emerald Door. And you'll be dealing with green at a future time. Riala. Alrighty. Um, similar to Sledge, Riala looks over and sees that Gen and Raven seem to have those gentlemen well in hand. So I'm going to move toward the big guy. As I move past Sledge, I'm going to give him a wink. Hey! Oh man, this just took a <laughs> turn I wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon on top of the big bad boy over here. Okay, you should be able to drag that, drag your Spiritual Weapon icon over. Yeah, let me, let me find it. There it is. Boom. Oh. Oh. All right, so that attacks when it comes out. And ah. sorry, I just haven't been here. Does that, uh, what does your spiritual weapon look like? I, I wasn't here on the... Yeah, so it is a, just like a big hovering sun that like hovers as like a sun and then it kind of shimmers and then hovers like a moon. And so it sort of shimmers back and forth between sun and moon. Perfect for tanning, Sledge loves it. See, it was meant to be. Well, you get the sun tan and you get the moon tan. Yeah, so. yeah. You got to make sure that you tan bottomless so you get that moon tan. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So I rolled um, a 19 on the dice plus 8 to hit. So 27. Yeah, 27 hits. <laughs> All right. That was um, 9 damage. Uh, what kind of damage is it? Um, spiritual weapon, I think, is... Radiant, I think? I think so. Okay. Melee attack from damage. Uh, force damage. Um, it's so weird to not see Z in, like, the chat chat. and now Telling us all the things. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it actually I mean, I, does I not say. I'm not chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's not fire, though. No. Okay. Yeah, we're fine then. Hint, hint, guys. <laughs> hint, hint. Hint, fire giant. <laughs> um, and let's see. I think that's really all I got. Um, yeah, yeah, that's going to do it for me for this okay. one. All right, so now we come to purple. And, uh... <clears throat> Purple understands that maybe the most dangerous person near him is the person in the white mask. And so uh, Purple is going to cast. I don't uh, have red glowing blades. <laughs> <laughs> True. Purple is going to cast on Raven banishment. So I need you to make a charisma saving throw, please. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go in time out. Mm, just got a donation. Snake Spinner uh, just donated five dollars. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Snake Spinner. So that is a D twenty to a random pl uh, player. So those of us who haven't got a D twenty yet, if you want to do a roll off in the uh, roll twenty chat to potentially win a D twenty. And so who is that that still doesn't have inspiration? Uh, I don't think with my two I'll be getting one though. <laughs> I don't think Gen has one. I don't think Riala. I do. Has... I have inspiration. Oh, you have one. Yeah, I didn't have one, so that's why I rolled. Do you have inspiration, Riala? I do. I got one of the first four. Okay. Um. Sorry. Right. There goes fish. that one. There we go. Okay. Would it be uh, Sledge? Did you did you get a d twenty? I did not. I just uh, just rolled. Ah, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. So that looks like that's going to go to Sledge. Ooh. 
Snitch feels good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what was your uh, your charisma save? Well, I think I'm probably going to time out because I rolled a 13 plus 2, so 15. Ah, you unfortunately are going into time out. Uh, Raven just it kind of evaporates from the field um, and none of you see uh, what has happened to Raven. Uh, and now that I, I, gotta, I can make a save still against um, did not pass. We won't even continue that. Moving on to Blue. Oh, Blue is so thankful for <laughs> Raven to not be there. <laughs> Uh, he will spin around and uh, make his attacks on. Gant. Now he will have a minus d6 still. On on all of his attacks. Yeah, I believe. Uh, yes, I believe it's a d6 to any attack. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he gets uh, three attacks. So we're gonna make his first two with his scimitar. Uh, one of those misses for sure. Um, dirty 20 to hit. On Gen. Dirty 20 would hit me, yep. All right. Oh, minus a d6, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a 16. No. Ah, damn it. All right. And then yes. his dagger attack. Uh, that will also be a dirty 20. So that's going to be a 15. Miss. Yep. All right. And then he's going to roll to hopefully save out of this, though he's going to be dead very soon. <laughs> uh, hey, check it out. He actually saved out 19. Does nice. that beat your DC? It, it matches. Yes. He, you know, he finally, the ringing has stopped. The ringing has stopped right before his imminent death. <laughs> um, he knows, I think, better than to try to move away because that AO is going to be not good, so he's going to stay in it to win it. Narcissus. <laughs> uh, Narcissus will turn and look at the giant in front of her and go, Mon gros ami, the little pony must look so funny to you, and cast uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. So I need a DC 19 wisdom save, please. Oh, yeah, he's super wise. <laughs> <laughs> he knows much. Uh, oh, that actually is a 19. Damn it. There is nothing funny about the little pony man. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, I, I guess we don't do that with DC saves, though, do we? I know we, on attack rolls we do, uh, on match we do a roll off, but I don't think we do on DC saves. So, uh, the, the, he does not fall down and, and hideously laugh, which is unfortunate because that would have been kind of fun to see. <laughs> I agree. Um,. Uh, what else? Uh, I will use uh, for my bonus action. I'm actually going to cast unsettling words. Um, you, you, you ogre, you wouldn't understand humor. She's just annoyed at him. <laughs> so he uh, uh, has a um, bardic. Uh, I get to roll a bardic inspiration dice, and he subtracts that which is 1d10 from his next saving throw. Wow, okay. That will be uh, clutch, I think. Uh, or anything else? Uh, that's it. All right, Mr. Red. Mr. Red is ooh, unable to get flanking. Oh, you know what? My, my blue guy should have rolled with an advantage because of flanking, but luckily none of my players reminded me. That's fine. <laughs> You banish me, how can I help? <laughs> you know what, that's, is. that there is super is. fair. That is super there fair. Is. Yep. Uh, he's going to come over and uh, he still has not saved out, so he has the minus. He's going to make uh, attacks against Gint. Uh, that is a... Uh, so that's a, a roll to 19 plus... Nine to hit, so that's twenty eight minus a d6, which is wow, a full six, a twenty two, twenty two hits. Twenty two will still hit. All right, so 
you will take. Oops, that dies on the floor now. Six, ten, thirteen. You'll take nineteen slashing damages. Oof. And then his dagger attack. Nowhere even close. Uh, so he moved, he attacked. He doesn't have a bonus. Uh, all right. That guy is off the board. Hmm. This guy. What do we do with this guy? He is going to... Since Banish works so well, <laughs> uh, he's going to Banish Gin. Uh, so Christmas uh -oh. saving throw, please. Okay. Oops. Remember, you have inspiration if you need I it. I do have inspiration. I will use it if I need to. <laughs> and a uh, d20 and, and I, a d20. <laughs> and I need to, yep. And isn't he blessed also oh. from Riala? Yes, you also have bless at a d4. Yeah, well, okay. Well, I'll have uh, a d4. I'm not <laughs> going to bother. to do is roll a nine on this d4. And, and you'll be fine. You know. Yeah, I, I think I'm banished. <laughs> uh, move to GM layer. You, uh, you guys see Gen just also evaporate into nothingness. Hey, Gen. Funny, uh, funny meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> you know the service here. They got wonderful drinks. You should try one. Uh, that's going <laughs> to finish his turn. So now we're the fire giant. I can only move, attack, or bonus, correct? That is correct. Uh, goodness gracious. I, he is going to try to throw, he's going to throw a rock, so that he'll make an attack, and this time he's going to throw a rock at Riala. And I assume that 16 doesn't hit. It does not. Yeah, it was on a 15 until that last little roll onto the five. Um, and that, I guess, is his turn. So he doesn't, uh, that's just that one time. Is that right, Sledge? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay, so he's back to normal then. Yep. All right, so again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? Is Gen banished, right? Yes, yes. Gen's banished, so, so, so is, is Raven still banished, or? Raven is still banished. Two different... But it's a, it's a concentration two, spell, though. Two different magic users. Yeah, okay. pink and purple did it. Okay, oh, they did Okay, it's pink and purple. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. My bad. Would, uh, would I know uh, that it was banishment? Is it is it clear that it's banishment? It might have been clear had you been over in in the mix right. of that, but okay. being over here and engaged with uh, this big guy, it's Probably it's hard for you know. to say. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that Aerith wouldn't know of, about this sort of going on. I'm going to continue to try and attack the big guy. Okay. Um, I still get to roll at advantage because I'm invisible, I believe. So I get three yeah. attacks still. <laughs> yep. Um So the first one is a 15 plus. Uh, 10, so that's 25. It. All right, so that is... Uh, pff, that's seven, seven damage. Um, then I will do... Uh, uh, a roll. Is my Bless still going, Riala? Yeah, it's a minute yep. for Bless. Okay, that's 21 to, to hit. 21 hits. Okay, that is another uh, eight damage. Um... Then for the final one, that's a nat 20. Ooh, so that nice. is a, a eight plus six. Um, math confusing. Eight plus um, six is 14. Eight plus six is 14. All right. How's he doing? Still not, still looking so, pretty good. For, uh, four, 14 damage. Is that, that's, that's your total on that last one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, he's not looking great. Um, he, I, I, will, I would say he is past bloodied. I will then use, I will then, no, uh, okay. I'm going to use my action surge, uh, and I will do another attack. 
Okay. If only we could see how awesome you're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's invisible. You just see him be like, ow, ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, that's another 21 to hit. That hits. Um, which just, is... It's like he uh, thinks he's stepping on stones, so he picks up his foot to look down <laughs> if there's something sharp underneath, and then he, like, yeah. there's another is poke. Somebody to drop a thumbtack? What's going on? <laughs> ow, um, ow. That's another 12 damage on top. Wow. Yeah, he d- he does not look good. Um... He he may be considering an exit. He does not look good. Uh, Anything else for you? Uh, That's the end of my turn. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Raven is banished. Sledge. Sledge has no more friends uh, to the uh, (laughs) the, uh, uh, west here, right? So that's no good. Um, All right. So Sledge will move to here. Uh, kind of over his back to Narcissus and uh, Riala. Uh, he'll be like, uh, I'm not sure where the other guys went, but they left the party. And um, I'll focus back this way. And uh, one, two, three. Okay. So uh, the um, uh, sledge uh, brings out the dung bell and he starts, starts pumping, right? And he goes faster. And faster and faster and faster. This is, this is a show see, not for kids, everyone. Not for kids. <laughs> and you see, you see, uh, there's a buildup, right? And you see his hair starts to kind of, you know, stand up a little bit. There's a little static going. And then when the energy's built up enough, he and he releases uh, chain lightning. Um, oh. At uh, this one here, uh, okay. but the bounce will be able to hit all three. Okay, let's let's see it. Let's, let's get this in there. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me hit this button right. Oh, that. Deck that. save. Oh gosh, what could possibly go wrong? They make all their saves. <laughs> uh, so that's a fourteen for him. So he does not make his save. Uh, let me. So he's going to take the damage. Let me damage him, and then I'll roll a con save. Yes, 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 yes. 40 points. Good God. Uh, also, speaking of, I didn't realize, but Axon said, let me take all three additional extra attacks, yeah. not just an extra one. So that is actually a, a, a more damage. I'll, I'll let you know what it is in a, in a second. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, we'll work that in behind the scenes. And when we finish with Sledge, we'll we'll pick that last up. Uh, yeah, so that he that's a, a 17. So he keeps his concentration, strangely. Uh, so how does the reflect work? Uh, bounces from him to three targets uh, uh, within 30 feet of each other. Of your choice. Of my choice. Well, so three targets. Uh, actually, all three of the others are, because we've been doing three squares for movement, yeah. which is 36 feet. Uh, he's three squares from pink. So if it hits all three, you could actually bounce to all three, much to my chagrin. <laughs> <laughs> I was, see, Sledge may look strong, but he thinks sometimes. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. So, so same thing, same save. Yes. And then yep, they, yep, yep. I see. Yeah, I was waiting on, to, I was waiting on you to tell damage. me something. No, no, no. Oh, well, okay, I, right. I mean, th- th- does the damage roll again or does it use the initial? I assumed it just used the same as it forked out, but I don't, you know, we can go yeah. either way. Yeah, if, How if about nothing... we ask our resident compendium? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, honestly, the uh, it, I mean, the way it's written out, it, it would technically be another roll, but uh, yeah. some games just make it quicker, they just let, let the first damage be done and just let's, carry it over. Let's go with quicker. Uh, okay, it's, uh, t- uh, 16. So, he, blue does not save, uh, <laughs> red has rolled a one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, pink, however, uh, 20 pink actually saves. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so is it, is it half damage on the save? It is. Um, all right. So let me damage up. And then Um, pink would make another con save, right? Yes, he will. As soon as I please damage people up, (laughs) you know, it was shocking. Um, (laughs) Oh my gosh. He's a Ryan. He's a Ryan replacement. Everyone, uh, yes, he he keeps his concentration with a 
uh, 19 with a 23. Very nice. So, um, and yeah, then... blue, blue drops like a sack of potatoes smoking <laughs> and crackling from uh, from your, your lightning. Uh, and then at that, uh, whew, and Sledge kind of looks up and realizes that, you know, it's him and nothing else between him and them. And he's like, uh, little help. And uh, <laughs> spotter, please. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Need to hydrate, guys. <laughs> guys uh, all right. So backing up to to Aerith, uh what were your your to hits on those an, an extra um oh they were like above 20 which i know oh, yeah, is. Uh, yeah, so yeah. they were 28 damage in total the two extra damage attacks in total okay so woozy would not begin to describe how he looks <laughs> when you add that extra damage uh but he is still up um all right and so he is off map riala Okay, I am going to move my one, two, three squares just to get into melee with this guy. Look at you showing off for Sledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Watch me swing this mace, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to swing that mace at him. <laughs> so I'm gonna swing that, mace. <laughs> that is 21 to hit. That hits. So I'm going to just because he doesn't look great. Um, I'm going to use my, I think I get this all the time, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my Divine Strike, so that adds a D8. Um, so that's seven damage. Seven total? Yes. Well, it's beautiful as I'm invisible, so Sledge just sees her go over there and one-shot this thing. Yeah, exactly. like. <laughs> <laughs> and um, for my bonus action, I'll uh, hit it with the spiritual weapon as well. Well, it's going to be a corpse. Okay, never mind. She must he, uh, work out. <laughs> you, uh, you, you bring that, you bring that mace up to aside his head, and the life just goes out of him onto the ground, uh, and he crumples into a giant, uh, huge, technically heap in front of you. Uh, so you can move your spiritual weapon rather than attack with it if you would prefer. Okay, I mean it only gets like twenty feet of movement, so it can go. That's two like, squares. Yeah. Just that's two squares. You know. Um thank you to uh <laughs> one red across. seventy for a hundred bits. Uh yeah, if only Jade were on, we could make him do the Leviathan. We'll make Sledge do the Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So use the mage hand. We are also right? close right. to another hype train starting. We, if one more person gives a sub or a bit. Hype, hype, hype. We can do more giveaways. Come uh, on, hype train equals sledge spell description. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, well, I mean, we've already had one level five all the way today, so that'd be uh, that'd be something else to get another one in our, our first act. Uh, I'm trying to I, I'm, I'm trying to get us kind of through this, and we'll get to a break here, so we'll... Uh, <laughs> You Get guys in one work more on, hype train before you guys the break. Work on hype train. We're gonna work on cleaning this mess up up here. Uh, whose turn is it? It's Purple's turn. Riala no, definitely no looks back important. over her shoulder at Sledge when after she like demolished that guy. <laughs> Sledge is nice because he only <laughs> saw you do it, right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so he only has one more of this level. Actually, guys, two more levels of the spell slot. Uh, he is going to sledge again, cast lightning bolt at you, oh. just like a hype train hype that train. just started. Nice. Um, right, so for, that is going to be the, uh, be a deck save, please. Let me get this dexterity save. Let's do it, Gav. We've already completed level one, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, and and on that hype train. Uh, I was looking at my glistening muscles and I completely failed my dexterity save, but it's okay because <laughs> as a reaction, I cast absorb elements. You got uh, distracted by Riala actually looking at you. That's what it was. I was like, <laughs> I was making sure I was like, wait, is my sheen right? Am I, am I shiny Am I enough? shiny enough? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is 22 points of lightning damage, but you're taking half of that. So that is 11. 
Understood. Is that right? So 11 points of uh, of, of crispy lightning damage. You're, you're smoking a little bit. It, I mean, it looks kind of hot, but... Oh, yeah. There's a fog effect off of the shoulders right now. He's a little uh, hot himself. <laughs> uh, well, you... Oh, you know, I, I'm actually going to take some movement with uh, my purple as well. Because this is not going well for them. Things were just warming up. To there. Um, this guy is dead, so he's no longer in the turn order. Narcissus. Uh, how is the gate looking? Uh, they have it almost closed. You can still see kind of like a person width, but it is it is almost fully closed. It, it, it looks like they will be finished with it at the bottom of this round. Round, I will... I mean, the fighting outside that you can see is still like horrific. It is it's raging battle outside. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that though. <laughs> <laughs> Should have stayed inside. Bummer. <laughs> Can I have your stuff? <laughs> I <Cold> am... dips. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um what I am going to do is um I am going to pull out my bandalore and play a little tune and cast fly on myself. Mm. Charge. And that gives me 60 feet of flight, which kind of doubles my speed. So. That's. I think as far as I can get. And that'll be the end of my turn. Uh, we should be able to go uh, six or we should be able to go five squares total because that's five 12 foot squares is 60 feet. So I think you, you went four, so I think you can go yep, one more. One more. I shall move forward one. All right. 60% of the way through a level two hype train. This is, this is going pretty well. Um, anything else, Narcissus? Uh, you just hear like some French mumbling and like uh, her outfit changes again. So it's no longer a skirt. Cause she's like dirty pervots. And like, it, she's suddenly wearing trousers. <laughs> so you can't upskirt her. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, all right. Red, oh, rethinking his life choices. Uh, he is also one, two, three. He's also going to pull back a little and uh, he's going to take the dodge action. Uh, he is off screen. Pink. Hey, you know what? Pink also has some spell slots left. Hmm. Out of range. In range. Hmm. Hmm. Flying. Already <laughs> crispy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, he is also going to take a, a lightning bolt shot at Sledge. So a dex, a dex save, please. Uh, and this is in the same round, so I believe Absorb Elements is still active. Does it last to the end of your... I thought so, the... but I could be wrong. Yeah, you have resistance to the triggering type until the start of your next... Turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. All right, but either way, let's get this dexterity save. Uh, 17. 17. Oh, wow. That is the uh, the spell save DC. So Whew. you'll take one quarter of. I forgot to bring this up earlier, but Sledge does have magic resistance. Oh, yeah. I should be rolling at advantage every time. Yes. But it's all groovy. Sledge forgets these things from time <laughs> to time. So 32 halved is 16, and then halved again is eight. eight. Beautiful. <laughs> don't don't be sad, buddy. <sighs> That's all right. It's just it reminds me of the uh the Zikrin fight. Uh <laughs> all right. So that looks like we completed a level two there, I believe. Mm -hmm. Maybe we completed level one. We didn't quite finish level two. Uh but gosh, so many different people to thank on that. Um Damn Weirdo, Pixie, Dark Horse 1975, Snake Spinner, One Red, Pixie again, One Red again, um, Wily Hobbit, 
uh, two different times. RD Mac 92, one red again. Um, Pixie again. You guys are nuts. I love it. That, <laughs> that last set didn't get in there in time. I know, it was so sad. I was like, I was like looking at it, and it was like confirming purchase for like the 11 <laughs> seconds left, and I was like, um, no. no, we did get. We did Aww. get 300 bits in total, so we get a D6 inspiration die to a random player. So I think there was only, was there only one person left who didn't have inspiration? Uh, I, yes. I think there's Raven, either. you get a D6. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't have one. Oh, my oh. bad, my bad. Both roll. <laughs> yeah, 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 you get, and the D6 has to be used tonight. Roll mm -hmm. them off, roll them off. Oh, oh, 14 Z. for uh, Z with a 19. Z, Z wanted gets, it. Z mm. wanted it bad from <laughs> the uh, pocket dimension. <laughs> uh, all right, that fails. I'll take that, his, that six pack. Let's go. <laughs> you are dead. Again, is banished. Uh, Aerith, you are still invisible, and mm -hmm. it is your okay. turn. I, I, well, I... So I'll, I'll, I'll put it to you guys. We can, we're back at basically the top of the round. We can go again, or we can take a quick break and have bio and refreshments. I'm down to keep going to end of combat, but I don't mind either way. Anybody else have a preference? Sledge doesn't like cutting off mid-workout. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, all right. let's do it. Are you saying that Sledge does not uh, finish early? <laughs> Never. <laughs> all right. I'm going to move, uh, so I'm going to go one, two, three. Then I'm going to take the dash action of one, two, three. Then I have a psionic ability, which will propel me. Uh, basic, I basically begin to kind of almost like fly for, I think it's double my, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, is. equal to twice my walking speed. So that is 60. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, I think. Um, okay. And I will stay there awaiting my, my next turn. And that is the end of my go. And that's a clutch move across the battlefield. <laughs> I feel like you just like Naruto ran across the whole <laughs> yeah. I, I did. No one saw a thing. No one saw <laughs> no. it. <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh, wait. As I run past, you just hear like, Naruto. Ella <laughs> <laughs> just felt like some wind as you like passed her. She was just running into Area Fifty One. <laughs> where, where the hell is Aerith? I mean, we done killed this damn giant. She's not around. It's windy Half out here. Right now. Half the group's gone. <laughs> uh, Sledge. Sledge. Uh, let's see. So Sledge, now feeling much more confident because he has some workout buddies, um, starts to uh, move forward here. Let's see. I believe that will get me there. Um, yeah. All right. And so, uh, and DM, I believe all three of those guys are going to be within a 30 foot cube. Yeah. Just with the uh, spacing there. I want to make sure I get it right. All right. So. For sure, for sure. What's the range on it? Uh, 120. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, out. let's hit it. <laughs> so uh, Sledge uh, comes up to here and uh, he kind of stops. And when he does, you know, he does the over the shoulder look to uh, Riala and he looks back and he bust out the super sledge or blue steel or whatever crazy cool sexy look he has and he kind of flashes open the the chest and just this kenny g easy love music kicks on as all three need to make a wisdom saving throw against hypnotic pattern as they are caught in sledge's muscles oh man this is so great the pattern of his pecs moving up and down. <laughs> All right, so uh, purple has rolled a 17. No. Um, pink has rolled a 21. Yeah. And uh, red has rolled a kraken for a 23. So purple is drooling on themselves over uh my beautifully sculpted body as it dances around in their mind uh so they are held in hypnotic pattern 
Question, they are now incapacitated. So would they lose concentration on the banishment spell? Ooh, uh, potentially? Uh, I'm looking for a... Yeah, I think they would. We're we're gonna put Sleepy on there. Everybody in the party's just nodding. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, of course the party's nodding. (laughs) Uh, Just a bunch of bobbleheads in a car, like uh huh. Uh, I'm sorry. What he he is uh, restrained? Uh, He is incapacitated. Incapacitated. Yes, he is drooling on himself. Can't take actions or reactions. Incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions. Uh, and he is charmed for, or it says, uh, on a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed, the spell is incapacitated, or the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. So, yep. Right. So the he doesn't, I don't think that means he loses concentration. He just can't take actions or reactions. Well, he is stuck there. Someone go hit him. Uh, <laughs> uh, and actually kind of looking, oh, hmm, too far away. Uh, Oh, but you're not. Um, oh, but I don't know you're there. All right, so never mind. That is all. That is all I can do. You're invisible. I can't see you. So that is all I can do. All right. You are off screen, I Riala. Just did a little bit of a Google. Um, uh, being incapacitated or killed, you lose concentration on a spell. Mm, okay. It's on a spell spawning. if you're incapacitated or die, basically. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me change layers. Go back to the token layer. Raven oh. well, hello. Pops, pops back. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, and uh, you pop up to Sledge, like, doing, like, a, <laughs> a sexy dance in front of you as he's doing his hypnotic pattern. You're welcome, Raven. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to go back. <laughs> Where'd my drink go? <laughs> Riala. Uh, that, yeah, that'd be a bitch when it's like just like uh, tropical paradise. And, yeah. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you back into the middle of a battle. Mm-hmm. Man, Gan is just left playing. Gan is just left playing solitaire by himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riala. Okay, I'm going to just um, creep across the board here um let me see i think i'm too far away to do much yeah so i'll just um i'll just dash action we'll work on cardio later get a little closer this this armor's heavy (laughs) (laughs) and that's gonna be it for me uh all right this cat is charmed and cannot take actions or reactions and there's no chance for him to break out, right? He can't roll again to break out? Uh, no, uh, he is stuck. Um, the only two things that'll knock him out, I'm gonna regret saying this, but it's in the rules. If someone jostles him, they can wake him out of it. Obviously he would lose his turn, but he himself can't do anything to get out of it. Narcissus. That's literally in action. I believe yes. also if he gets hit, he gets yes. knocked out of it too. Yeah. Narcissus. All right, well, uh, flying 60 feet. So let's see how far I can get. Like here. I would go on top of Aerith, not knowing she's there, because it would be the like line of sight. But just for token issues, I'm gonna I'm gonna go below. <laughs> you like bump into me? <laughs> well, I'm up in the air. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> true, true. Flying above you, just like. Actually, maybe I should go above then. But I'm, Aerith, I, I, I would be in the same same square. Aerith just again, there, just like, like, where's the wind so- coming from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, an attack. <laughs> um, yeah. She's like, no, I like them. We're not going to attack them anymore. They're friends. <laughs> um, they're so cute. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to use my crossbow on the pink one. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> not 20 to Wow. Absolutely. Like a little cupid. Okay, so that is 
an eight plus nine. So what's eight plus nine? 17. Uh, 17. 17. Yeah, 17 damage. Minus 17. And so he has to make a, a concentration um, save. No way he makes it. No. Oh, you're right. No way he makes it. Yeah. That's a one. <laughs> we got both crits in this round. <laughs> uh, move you back to the token layer, and and Gint just like pops back into existence as well. Oh. Uh, that game layer again. Yeah, I'm the new clutch, one. I mean, <laughs> much has changed. Uh, clutch. Any uh, anything else for you? Bonus or anything? Uh, no, I'll leave it at that. All right. Um. Oh man, this guy, he so wants to run, but he's not gonna. Uh, I don't think he has any ranged. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw a dagger. Y'all fucking dead now. <laughs> Y'all dead now. Um, seeing that another person pop back on the battlefield and it, knowing it's your fault, Narcissus, he is going to throw a dagger at you. So that is a 12 hit. No. <laughs> His dagger, one? his dagger is sort of zings past you. I mean, it's like kind of over there past you. <laughs> you don't even feel the wind from it. Um, uh, oh, or, or two range attacks. So he'll make another less pathetic one Nine, uh, for uh, 18 to hit. Uh, yes. So that's uh, oh, is he out of range? Uh, the 20, 60, 20 for close range. And beyond that, he would be at disadvantage. All right. So... <laughs> he uh, well, so the first one just missed outright, uh, so the disadvantage mm -hmm. didn't matter. The second one, he actually rolled better on the second. So if an eighteen hits, I have, I have hit. Yes. Does an eighteen hit? Yes. Oh, you four d four coming in. Right. <laughs> now I'm feeling like I should have shielded. <laughs> How much health do you have? I haven't been hit yet, but <laughs> fourteen, all fourteen of them of piercers <laughs> going down, girl. And I need to roll a con Wait. save because you're flying. Yeah. Oh. Fourteen. Yep. So save. I'm still flying. <laughs> Mon dieu! <laughs> um. All right. Um. Pink. He's lost his concentration. He is not incapacitated, though. Oh man, I'm running out of running out of things to do, y'all. Here. Um, you know what? After having watched you do it earlier, and just because he can't stand your oily slickness, <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking about? <laughs> uh, he is going to cast. Uh, magic missile at second level, so that's an automatic hit. It is, except I shield. <sighs> uh, all right, well, shield adds to does that kill magic missile? It yes. does, God. it God. does. Bless America, because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't use your pecs. Yeah, it's all about the pecs. <laughs> I can actually oh, see man, little he's... beads of sweat. So, so <laughs> sledge, sledge, sledge like reaches down, and he like you know like sops up some beads of sweat, and he's like, and it just creates a shield of shiny Ew. sweat, ah. and he glistens. This is the point in time when Riala realizes what's been flirting with her. <laughs> sweat shield. Sweat shield. All right, because he cast a spell, he cannot make it off the map, but that's where he is headed. Um, Gen. All right. Out of three. Uh, oh, I, and and since this is the top of the new round, the the monks at the at the front gate have it shut and are, are in the process of locking it. So you you feel like the situation is contained to the inside of Candlekeep now. Inside, inside, and outside, outside. All right. Out of these three gentlemen, uh, which one looks the most injured to again as he assesses his surroundings? Uh, I will say that pink and purple 
both look more injured than red. Um, but they are incapacitated though. But, yeah, so he would be but they are the all they are all in that range of bloodied. Oh, right. the one that banished you. Yep. Yes, definitely. pink is the one. Pink is the one that banished you. <laughs> yep. Definitely going to start throwing uh, psychic knives at pink there. I uh, don't think I get anything like advantage, so this isn't going to be anything spectacular, but just for the hell of it. All right. You stand still. You can take steady aim to get advantage. Oh, could I? Yeah, it'll drop your speed down to zero, but you will have advantage on your attack roll. Okay, so I believe I was actually right here, right? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. If I stayed there, I could still throw it at pink, right? And uh, yeah, it's sixty feet. So all right. Yep. I'll. Go for another one, uh, and right, right, elven accuracy. So I'll do that again real quick. Okay, so twenty-seven is the winner. Twenty-seven. There. That one hits for sure. All right. That is only six psychic damage, but if I get advantage, that is twenty-three yep. sneak attack damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I will follow up with the bonus action second throw. Uh, Will that also get advantage, or is that it? Well, you, your, it was the steady aim was your bonus action. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't get the bonus. If you're using your, your cunning action, you get. get the ah, advantage. yeah. Okay, I see. Forget that then. <laughs> All right. I, I, I will say though, it was still worthwhile because when the, the 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 psychic blade sinks into him, I mean, he he is not. He was he was running before, like efficiently running, and that really kind of took something out of him for sure. So he is definitely more hurt looking than he was in, in a big way so still worthwhile all right uh Aerith. That... yeah because you you didn't you didn't take your move because of steady yep. aim you used your bonus and used your attack yep. all right i am going to uh one two three oh i'm just i'm just i'm not fast enough um, okay, hold on. How can I do? You know what? I'm going to use my side leap. Screw it. Um, it's going to cost me a, a dice to do, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it because I, I want to, I want, I want to hit someone. <laughs> um, so I'll go forward to red. Um, and I will do, I'm going to roll not with my actual dice because my cat's on my desk. Uh, so that should be... Uh, 27, 29, 14. Do I still have advantage because I'm invisible? So let me do those again as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so first one, 27. Second one, 29. Third one's 14 both times. So um, I take it the 14 20... doesn't hit. Correct. Uh, so that will be uh, 11 Good. and then 12. Uh, on Mr. Red. So that's 33. Okay. Um, and then I will use a uh, another dice to use my psionic strike. Um, uh, so you just see these knives begin to just propel towards this gentleman. Um, that is... Let me roll with advantage. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. That's a, uh, does a nine hit? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it unfortunately does not hit. My mind is cloudy. It does not. You missed by one, I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's so close. Well, it's I promise. Just, you're, you're invisible, so you, you don't quite know exactly where you're throwing it to. That's a good point. Yeah, it's totally the invisibility's fault. But <laughs> for the first time, no one saw my mistake, so we're fine. We're all good. True. Very true. Sorry about it. Uh, and that will be the <laughs> that will be the end of my turn. Um. Okay. So moving on to Raven. All right. I, I believe uh, Narcissus is still playing music in the air up there. Correct. All right. Yes. So I will. 
first run across, make friends with uh, my friendly purple one over here. I have plenty of speed to get there. And I will switch my stance to more of a of, of a capoeira dance fighting style. And uh, start attacking this little... Yeah. <laughs> mm. Keep the exploits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first roll. A 16 on the die, so that's a 26 to hit. Gosh, that hits. That hits all day. Mm hmm. Is 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then, and next. And you know what? Just because I don't like them on that, make a constitution saving throw. Stunning strike. Uh, can I make? Okay, yes, because when you hit me, that yeah. released me from being incapacitated. Well, he still would have been able to make the, the save regardless, anyways. Okay, okay. Um, nine. Fail. So he is stunned. So the end of my next turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave Sleepy Face <laughs> on him because <laughs> <laughs> is, is, things are not going his way today. <laughs> this is what happens when you banish a monk. <laughs> All right. It's almost as bad as putting salt in your coffee. <laughs> that is a Kraken. Yeah. Free and Kraken. That is. That is 20 points of damage from, from the second attack. Oh. Beefy. And then. Still standing, so flurry of blows. <laughs> because monk. Because monk. Yes. Monk cast fist. <laughs> I thought that's what uh, our friendly Macho Mandel did. I know, right? No. <laughs> All right, so. Probably not very old. Pretty low for that, but that'd be a 16 to hit. Or a 3 and a 6. 16 does not hit. Wow. Surprising. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, yes. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong stat block. 16, 16 absolutely hits. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the stats for red. Uh, 16 mm -hmm. absolutely hits. I okay. do also want to just clarify with my psionic thing that I missed. It was swords, not knives. I'm getting told I'm a plagiarist in DMs by my twin brother. <laughs> who's angry that I said knives. So it's swords. <laughs> sorry. I can't see you, so you can't argue. Yeah, we My drill was copying me, sis. Gotta hate it. He's literally like, I'll see you in court. How dare you? <laughs> Tell mom. That was 10 point, more points on, on that hit right there. 10 points? Yeah, it was 10 oh, points. Oh, man, he's like just a thread. Just a oh. thread of life left in oh, him. It's so good that there's one more attack still coming at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that is a 25. Solid. Yeah. And Solid as ever. Then, Let's just go ahead and assume that you're going to do more than one point I, of damage. I so literally just reach out, grab his, and as yeah, I do, so I grab his face, and you just watch the, the blackness fall down her arm and encompasses his whole face. Oof, dark. And uh, when you finish that body, just like, again, a sack of potatoes hits the ground. Uh... And that guy is no more. Um, Sledge. Whoa. I'm assuming that you don't have any more attacks, even though you're a, a monk and you've attacked 15 <laughs> times. <laughs> Except for no, that. I, I don't have action surge <laughs> yet. <laughs> and that's that's brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, Sledge. Uh, so Sledge will make his make his way around here, um, and when he gets here, uh, uh, yep. Um, so Pink here, uh, he's actually Sledge is going to uh, call out to him like, "Hey, hey, hey, now, now, we've just got the heart rate up. Get back here!" <laughs> and um, he's going to uh, cast telekinetic uh, shove, except I'm going to be pulling him towards me if he fails a strength save, DC 19. <laughs> oh God, how how bad could this go as a magic user? <laughs> um, does a three beat a 19? Close, very close. Sledge math, it's close. Um, yeah, so, so, you, so how far is he, is he shove pulled? 
Uh, so he's actually just going to be pulled five feet closer uh, to me. So pretty much um, into this yep. square or into this square. Um, toward red or toward kind of purple's side. I was thinking towards red. All right. I was originally pulling. Um, and then after uh, he goes there, um, who's up next? We got. Red. Okay, so after uh, he goes there, um, same thing. You're going to see the uh, pectoral missile dance. Doom, 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 doom. And uh, <laughs> this time, though, I am uh, casting it at third level so that both of them have to give me an intelligence saving throw. Let's get this out there. Do, 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 do. Okay. Come on now, look at the pectoral missiles. I, I saved with a 20. Oh! And a magic user with that, that plus uh, that plus to int, man. Oh yeah, no, 100%. Um, still half damage. Still um, half damage, so that's still six six points. Yeah, and then how did red the do on quit. that? Oh, oh, red's involved in that as well. Yeah, um, I cast sorry. it. In. Cast Minus it at a higher six. level. Uh, red intelligence save. This yeah. is probably not going to go as well for red. He looks really smart. <laughs> uh, you know, he, he made an 18, but that is not enough. So close. Uh, so yeah, he'll take 13 and then next turn, of course, he can only move, uh, attack or bonus action. Just one of the three. Um, and, uh, then calling out to, uh, or looking at Gen, uh, and Raven kind of like, uh, Come on now, I've got them back in the workout. Let's finish this up. And uh, that is it. Awesome, Riala. Don't mind me, I'm just back here <laughs> running. I really uh, want, if if you were closer, I was actually gonna use the pole on you and just be like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a strange caressing kind of pull. You don't it like is. it, you don't like it at all. Uh, it's a little greasy. Or. Or does she? Let's not put uh, thoughts in people's head, okay? <laughs> it pulls you from like a little bit too close to the arse. <laughs> Just like this straying that line between on the back to... <laughs> you know these shoves are hard to aim. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Don't worry, I definitely can't feel that with my actual hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna cast a spell. Yes. <laughs> <I'm gonna> cast. <laughs> um, which one of these guys looks worse? A pink absolutely looks worse. Okay, then I'm gonna cast. Um, let me make sure. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna cast another guiding bolt. Um, just at first level at red. Okay. Um, that is 19 to hit. That hits. Nice. Just, but it hits. Perfect. Let me see what my damage dice are again. It's been a while. Um, um oh, okay. <laughs> 12 and 5 is 17 and 1 more d6. Three more 20 points Oof. of damage. Oofta doofta, as Ryan would say. <laughs> yeah, that he now maybe looks a little worse than pink. Um, the next attack hit. on him will have advantage with that guiding nice. bolt. All right, anything else for you? Uh, no. Narcissus. So wait, which one has advantage? Uh, red. Put a little heart on him because you love him. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, not shot through the heart. Ooh. Shot through the heart, and <clears throat> you're to blame. All right. Um, what I'm we get copyright do? clear on that. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to use my bonus action to unsettling words. And it sounds in the pink one's ear, and it's almost just like, your mother smelled of elderberries. 
<laughs> um, so on his next um, saving throw, he has to. Uh, I'll roll a die. Oh, I shall just roll it now. He'll um, lose subtract three. Subtract three. Yeah, subtract three. Uh, ah, okay. So I don't um, get any kind of save against the unsettling words. Nope. Negative. Wow. And then Bards. I. Bar- Bards, man. <laughs> I will use my. Uh, move forward a little bit. And I'll use my crossbow on red. Ooh, okay. Arsh. Ooh. With advantage. Yep. 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. Dang. Are you... Were you blessed? I can't remember. No? No. No. Okay. Oh, wait. I... No, I didn't get the D6. Never okay. mind. Z got the D6. That's Anything the end of my else? turn. Soup. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, this guy is going to uh, disengage and try to make a run through the gate. Um, <laughs> two, three. But since he had to use the disengage as an action, he can't quite get there. He's he's a little upset about it. By which you mean you're a little upset? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine with it. He's uh, although he's lasted way longer than I thought he would. Uh, I thought you guys were powerful, but you know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and me um, and Gang had to play some some games of cards for a little while there. Okay. <laughs> Pink is going to use. His last third level spell for a lightning bolt. And well, make all three of you. He he would. Am I also in this? Except no, uh, Raven, Sledge, and uh, again. Oh, okay. Except Sledge is having none of that mess. I invited you here to work out, my friend not cast all this lightning bolt at me. And uh, he cast Counterspell at level three. And he will cast Counterspell at level four on your oh, Counterspell. Does anyone else have Counterspell? <laughs> anyone? No more Counterspell battles? All right. I'll, uh, I'll cast Fist in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, deck save from the three of you, please. Remember advantage there, Sledge. Yes, actually, remember it. 25. 21. Those are both passes. Oh, Evasion squad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I just both look back. He's like, thought you're going to make it? <laughs> that showed up in the. Yeah, I don't know why. It, it, was, okay, it was a 19. Uh, on yeah, it's, the... a, it's a 19, but I, for some reason it didn't shoot across. But the one that shot across was a one. So I don't know. <laughs> Pardon? So in the D&D Beyond log, I can see the 19 he got, but yeah. that happened first, and then the four went over for some reason. Weird. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have the 19. Uh, that 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 be so. The the actual damage on it is 32, so the oh. half damage is 16, and then S- Sledge, you'll take. Half of that is that right? You'll take eight. No, no, no. Um, because I could not cast. Uh, oh, you as, can't do absorb yeah. elements. Um, no, nope, not this. Time. How is everyone doing? Does anyone look bad? Like that? This. Yeah, this... my guys look really <laughs> shit. I don't care about your guys. <laughs> um, Great. Uh, S- Sledge's. Uh, he's half as half as healthy, but still 100% sexy, so. So he's half he's half health, okay? Yeah. Right. What I'll do, up. I'm going to, uh, with my psionic power, I'm going to cr- create a protective field as a reaction. Um, and this uh, seven will be removed from the damage that is hit from you. So nice. as, you, as you kind of brace for the hit, <laughs> You just kind of see this little protective barrier come up for you for a few seconds. 
I like to think <laughs> through the protective barrier, you can see Aerith looking back at you. <laughs> yeah, Elf. And it's not does, even sweat. Uh, this is so much better. Does does Gen recognize that barrier? And then it's like, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Probably yeah, I'm yeah. I would say he recognizes it, yeah. You were out for half the fight. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're out there uh, sipping margaritas, <laughs> okay? All right, Gen. This is, this is, now the time is yours. It's your time. You can, you can end it all here. Okay. All right. Uh, trying to get him to kill me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, PvP. Now's Dare your Dare moment. Me. She's betrayed uh, you for the see. last time. All those things oh, we talked Jesus. about secretly on Discord. All right, so I can move three squares, right? So I got one, two, three, and end up right here. Yes. I will stab at Mr. Pink over here. Uh, that sounds see. terrible out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it, though? One in the pink. Uh, that's a moving forward. That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> he got one hit on the pink. I didn't draw. I didn't jump on the train. Okay. Like, 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 uh, just, oh, ten right. psychic damage. So. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Because you don't have advantage on that, or you don't. Get no, there's yeah, a, I don't have advantage five on that. feet, so he does get sneak attack. I'm, oh, I'm, I, yeah, because Raven. Oh, do right I get sneak attack? Mm-hmm. Yes, you get sneak attack. I'm oh, there. wonderful. Okay, cool. We're both uh, then there. yes, then that's 34, actually. Well, Door why don't you go ahead and tell me <laughs> what it looks like? Yes. All right, so <clears throat> Gen runs up, uh, takes this guy by the shoulder, smiles at him as he reaches up to his head. You know, some people make shivs out of metal. I learned how to make mine out of unhappy thoughts. And he just sort of pulls a red blade out of his brain then stabs it into the side of the other guy who is just in shock and then collapses over with a bump. Wow, brutal. I love it. You just hear awesome. Aerith whisper, I'm in trouble later. <laughs> is your sister uh, nearby? <laughs> uh, I believe I still have a bonus action. You absolutely uh, do. And I'm going to use it to throw, why not, just throw an extra knife at this guy over here. Okie dokie. Red's been trying so hard. <laughs> He's been trying uh, so hard. Trying 12 to get a not gonna hit 12 does not do it. All right. Oh, well. I mean, he, turn, he might have pooped a little. I mean, he is definitely <laughs> spooked by what just happened. Do you sense that, that aroma? Uh, he is definitely not in a good way. Uh, <laughs> if that completes your turn, Aerith. Yep. Is it an action to drop the invisibility? No. Mm-mm. No, I don't think so. I think you I'm can just gonna, do it. I'm going to run up, drop my invisibility, put my you, hand oh, on this shit. Guy's shoulder um, <laughs> as well. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do uh, my... This is where she <gasps> rolls three ones. Nope. No, nope. she rolled 20. a 30. That's a crit for a total of 30 on that one. So. The first one is, uh, the first one is 60. No, wait, the first one is eight plus six. What is that? 14. The first one is so, 14 damage. So why don't you pause for a minute and tell me exactly what that looks like? She, she puts her hand on his shoulder, releases this invisibility and just sticks a knife in his back and then pulls sword. out sword, sword, sword. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at. I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> Pointy <the> object. <laughs> I put the sword in his back. And I put the sword in his back. I pull the blade out. Not, I, I like to think that it takes a few seconds for him to drop. So she still stabs him those further two times <laughs> without realizing that he's already dead. And on like the third one, his body just kind of slumps and falls off the sword, like just loose meat coming off she'll sheath it wow uh <laughs> okie dokie invigorating and i mean you know a couple ran off but there's nothing imminent at the moment uh the door to the front uh at the gatehouse is shut shut tight they they feel pretty secure about it um, pardon? How high is the wall? 
Uh, the wall in front of you? Yeah, yeah, the, the gate wall. Oh, oh, the gate wall. Um, it's... It's a, it's a ways. I actually don't know how tall it is. Uh, I think it, looking at the, the picture, it's probably uh, 30 feet maybe to the to the outside out here. Okay. I just wanted to, you know, at least follow up and I'm going to run up the wall to get up on top of... Oh, you're talking about you're talking about here at the at the Emerald Gate. Yeah. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, that that, that was. Yeah, that we're gonna call that one like forty, yeah. but with as a monk, you can still. Uh, I can run that. You, you can still do that. Uh, yeah. So move your. Move yeah, your I just token. wanted to be up there, you know, be able to see, you know, what's going on. Uh, yeah. So put yourself up where you want. Oh, you uh, you can't oh. see. Yeah, yeah, that's why I just stopped myself. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I gotta get the polygon oh, reveal. Aerith will just turn to her brother. Sorry. <laughs> um, Riala, nice work, but you stole my kill. Sorry about that. Uh, you you did most of the work, though. It's all right. I mean, I think you've got the... What was it? Narcissus the pony man to fall in love with you? It's fine. Better you than me. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to, like look at him ironically when I, you know, killed the thing, but I don't think he took it that way. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Meanwhile, present hesitation, all the <laughs> sweat is cleaned off, and I'm still looking at you <laughs> way too like, hey. Uh, when that, he, right? when he so. does that, Narcissus uses present hesitation to make him dirty again. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he's just, it's just a constant. <laughs> And there's like what? a wet spot apart on the like front of your trousers. <laughs> Sometimes working out, uh, it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> Let's see, I will, Sledge will start moving uh, towards this direction. The person that was underneath the rubble over here, um, are they, was it on this side, correct? Uh, yeah, okay. it's on your side, yeah, yeah. Um, are, are, am I able to um, kind of, lift some rocks off or start moving some things around yeah i mean there, there's a lot of debris uh you'll you could all work at it and and kind of get to uh the shattered the shattered body of uh <laughs> i see i see sledge like he picks up kind of like a, a small rock you know and he's like he's like Ugh! and then he uses his telekinetic to like grab a, a much bigger rock and it's kind of like floating next to him and he's like oh man Whew. Oh, we're is, never um... done Rayala comes up and just actually picks up a large rock. And, like... <laughs> uh, and then Narcissus comes over, starts playing a little tune and casts Levitate. Okay. And just... Lift up to 500 pounds. Yeah, so you um, you guys for sure uh, are able to get, uh, get the debris off and get down to, um, to, to Karen, who is, uh, he is just on death's door um his breath is very ragged uh you don't know kind of how much longer he has if nothing is done i'll cast cure wounds uh well also superman landing right down next to him and just poke him a couple times to give him some some healing via some key well, okay that's bad on the knees <laughs> He, uh, he he certainly seems to stabilize, and he he comes to a little bit, but he's very um, kind of out of it. Like, oh, 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 you know what? Like, he just he can't seem to make sense of what has gone on. But that's to be expected with the sort of trauma that he is uh, has endured. Well, while he's out of it, I'm gonna turn to my brother and uh, look at the bodies. Uh, loot and whoever finds the the most valuable thing uh buy us dinner yeah sounds good all right and i just like run over and i'll like try and go through everything <laughs> oh yeah i, I uh, start yeah. searching about purple one uh, he's mine okay why don't you guys make me some uh investigation yes. checks what's uh, what i really uh, f I can see Sledge. His passive investigation's twenty, so I can see Sledge, and he's not worried about like what's on the bodies or anything. But he's kind of walking around like, "Oh, hey, uh, you missed one. Oh, there's something over there." Uh... <laughs> uh, Twenty-four. Well, since since everything's a competition with Sledge, 
Passive Investigation 21. Oh, so you mm. notice you notice me noticing you, not noticing me noticing you. <laughs> they don't know that we know they know we know. Notice me, notice you. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm doing a... So I think Raven's going of... for the purple, again, pink, and then Aerith will go for the red one, I guess. No one cares about blue. <laughs> yeah. They're far it... away. Let it be known that if my sister gets something more valuable than me, I'm going to pick her pocket for it and pretend I was the one who found it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh, so with with all of the, uh, the 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 humanoid bodies that you search, they all seem to have just kind of very basic, normal equipment like you'd find, you know, uh, scimitars. Uh, they're not exquisite. They're just basic scimitars, daggers. Um, you know, th their armor is nothing, nothing special, nothing to write home about. Um, they all have a potion of healing. They all have a small silver metal. It almost looks like a badge or some sort of um, like a like a medal of some kind. Uh, and they all have f three or four. They seem to be like red coins, but they have no marking. So it's it's small. It's metal. It's round like a coin but it's completely red and there's no stamping or writing on it at all. One of them elusive coins called Electrum? <laughs> <laughs> they are not Electrum. <laughs> They're like, like lipstick red. Um, none of you have ever seen anything like it before. Hmm. You know, in hindsight, we might have left one alive for questioning. Well, there are those ones who escaped further into the keep. I mean, That's true. if you want, we can question them anyway. Even kill first, ask questions second. Yes, I, mean, I like this plan. We can we can talk to I can talk to the dead if you want. And and this is where Buddy forgets that Riala has speak with dead, and he has <laughs> no answers prepared. Uh, that's fine. Let's. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it five I feel like times. Every time I use this spell, this <laughs> and that's you where we it's... end this week. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. <clears throat> and he says, "We'll see you next week, right here <laughs> on Keeping Candles." No, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm into it, man. If you, if that's what you guys want to do, I mean, I'm there were two. Offering it to the group. Uh, there, there are two that escaped further into the hmm. um, the, the compound. Yeah, they're not always inclined to, you know be truthful with me if I talk to them when they're dead, especially if I just helped kill them. So you never know. That's such a conundrum. Hey, what oh, happened boy. to you? <laughs> While everyone focuses on that, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna head over here. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's about a body. Uh, same thing, basic equipment, thing. potion, of, potion yep. of healing, that small silver badge. And, uh, and, and five and, more coins. Yeah, uh, three, three to four on each body. Does the giant also have this? Or does someone anybody even check to, the giant? Yes, I was going to, that was what I was going to suggest, that someone go Whoa. check that yeah, giant. Monk, monk speed has beat you all to it. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, so obviously the, his gear is is huge. Um, but uh, but yeah, he has, he has Just nothing. Just set it to the side for me. It's fine. <laughs> he, he, he has nothing of note on him. No, no potion of healing. He does not have the small badge and he does not have the red coins. Uh, this man was oiled up also. <laughs> Maybe so that is why he died. <laughs> you know, the problem was not enough oil. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> this entire uh, time, Narcissus has just been continuing to play and using Levitate to just move everything out of the way. <laughs> you know what? Can Gen, I really want to reach over and just like give uh, Sledge's bicep a squeeze. Can I do that? Sure. Real, real sneakily. Yeah. Oh. Oh Just... yeah. Oh. <laughs> so so Sledge, do you perfection. do you do you think that do you do you catch him or do you think that your bicep is just so cool that it kind of grabbed itself? <laughs> it's, um, see what it was was he ran across and of course he hit some of the veiny bits. You know, we just got done uh, working out. Um, Sledge notices and lets the touch linger 
enjoy. <laughs> mm. In fact, you can feel the like twitch of the muscles because all yeah. the adrenaline's just pumping through and all the muscles are just going, oh, yeah. Sledge <laughs> uses Mage Hand to hold Gen's hand yeah, on yeah. his bicep. <laughs> on his, yeah. Gen, goes to move away. <laughs> Gen goes to move away and Sledge is like, shh, no, no. <laughs> Put that, there you go. Uh, nice. All right, so you guys gonna you know, speak to some dead? Are you gonna press further in? I believe that pressing further in would be our best course of action. We do not want to let those scoundrels get up to any more damage than they could possibly. Agreed. Um, maybe maybe we don't work out so hard and then just keep one of them around this time. Uh, all right. Hey, well. So take one alive, you mean? Oh, yes, yes. Right. What was my intention for, I point at the, the one with the red dot, but I just look at Aerith. <laughs> look, listen, everyone else got to do their flashy kill. I was invisible, which She'll is great, that. thank you. But I wanted to have my moment, I'm sorry. It you happens to, to the in. best of us. You know, sometimes you just... <laughs> You just accidentally kill someone. It's not the big deal. I'm not used to keeping them alive. I'm just. Oh. Now we're all on the same page for the next set. You know, we'll keep on alive. It'll be fine. Let's go. Let's get them. Let's, all right. Let's... So you guys, you guys push through the remains of the Emerald Gate, and I'm gonna switch you to a new map. Uh, right hand side, about the middle. The two had uh, disappeared when I looked over the top. So. This is like right now. <laughs> when I ran the wall. Uh, all right. So you guys, uh, you guys press in and and kind of take some of the side corridors. This is this is not an official Candlekeep map. It's one that I found that I really liked, and it kind of approximates things. And I bet none of you have ever seen it, so that gives me the advantage for the Aww. first time tonight. <laughs> Oh, this map? Yeah, I know this map. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Don't worry, I'll know this map by next week. <laughs> yeah, it's Google, like Google. All right, Google image search. Uh all right, so you guys are you guys are there. Tell me uh I will tell you that that to your south uh behind the the or near these the statues here to the south, you do see um a dead body on the ground, uh, much like one of the uh the the melee fighters that you had uh, dispatched earlier. Would we know him to have been uh, one of the two that had run off uh, from the earlier engagement? Mm, make a perception check. Oh uh, yeah, eh, not too shabby. You feel you feel like at least one of the ones that got away was a spellcaster. Which this guy does not seem to be, but you're you're a little unsure. You didn't get a great look at the other one. Okay. Hmm. Are they wearing candle keep robes? Uh make an investigation. Oh, you know what? Before someone says it, music. That is a fourteen. Uh, the he looks exactly like uh, the guy on the in in the main courtyard that that you just dealt with. Uh, even down to the fact that he has a potion of healing and a small badge, uh, and three red coins. He's gonna. He wants to take that. So that is five potions of healing, total, or six? Did the giant have one? The giant did <clears throat> not. I picked up two from two of the bodies. Uh, if anyone doesn't have one, I'll have to give it to them. Can I check him over for wounds and see what killed him, perhaps? Uh, sure, that'll be another investigation. Can do. So by my calculation, all bar one of us should have an eating potion. 21. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looks as though um, similar wounds to what your friend Raven was, was putting out. Um, uh, punching wounds, staff wounds, mm. things like that. Uh, you know that the that Candlekeep has employs a number of monks for security, so mm. it could be that he was dispatched by a, a Candlekeep monk um, who, who you don't see immediately in the vicinity. 
but you'd like to think that they're doing some work inside, not just all, you know, outside with the, the main fight. And obviously the bells are still ringing, like active assault still going on uh, outside of Candle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that bell is just part of the soundtrack. But uh, yes, the, the assault when you last saw it was still was still active. But now the door is shut. You can hear it over the wall, but you can't see. Gotcha. You know, all you hear is battle. You don't really know who's winning out there. I understand. Uh, again, understand. As, you, as you move over, you can see a little more down the, the streets yeah. there. Just to uh, just to clarify to everyone, uh, so I, I already had a potion of healing before, so um, if everyone has everyone now just has one healing potion, I think. That sounds good. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Provided everyone shared who looted the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would have done so. Do, do, do. All right, um, what you guys want to get into here? Yeah, when when Sledge kind of comes over this way, he'll kind of call over it again. Uh, uh, I see that one there. Is uh, there any anything pointing where these guys may have run off to? Um, and Sledge is very not well, kind of looking around. Uh, not his not his foray being perceptive, so he's just kind of uh, aimlessly walking this way. Uh, any mm. any idea where they went? Seeing him not being very perceptive, I will kind of try and stick near him. <laughs> um, and we'll just try and uh, try and do some perception myself. Are there any uh, are there any tracks or anything like that visible? No, I mean, these are okay. cobble cobblestone streets. Um, yeah, didn't think so. I will say that I, I believe this one, the, the map is really close to being correct. So you don't have to do the 12 foot squares anymore. I think this one is back to almost right, yeah. five foot squares. So ah. no visible markings, but it looks like he was bludgeoned to death. If we find whoever did that, perhaps they can tell us where the rest went. Hmm. Me this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all out of key. It wasn't me. I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. And the key been impressive. Uh, well, uh, now in Candlekeep proper, where we are, um, is there anything mm, within the vicinity that we would know to be like very important, like a like a crazy uh, uh, artifact room or something? In other words, just in relation to where we are now, like kind of an idea of where someone might want to go. There's nothing that that you would know of. You know that a lot of these buildings are you know like oh these are books on this and these are books on that and these are reading rooms and kind of research rooms and stuff that's that's what you would know about here they you they would not share where their artifact vault storage would be with the likes of with sledge adventurers. yeah so sledge kind of <laughs> kind of takes a look around and he goes oh, yeah, this is unfamiliar um if i remember correctly they didn't have a sauna on this side, so I, I never really visited. Uh, not sure where they would go from here. Um, as once again, he's just sort of walking forward. Uh... You do not know what adversaries lie ahead. I would suggest trying to maintain a, a low presence. Uh, be light on your feet if you can. Well. Now that, um, if if we want to be if we want to be sneaky, I can help. Sometimes uh, I have to employ the sneaky sneaks when leaving certain manses in the early wee mornings. Uh, but uh, just let me know if if we want to be quiet. I I can be I can make that easier for us. I'm mm. sure that certain women do not want to be seen with you for sure. It would be a shame, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sneaking is not my forte, so uh, yeah, if you want to be quiet, I'm gonna ah. need some help. It's okay, it's okay. We're, it, it's a whole routine, it clears the pores, it, it's excellent. You, you just let me know when you want this to happen. Trust me, it'll when, make us all super sneaky. 
no sweat though none yeah. of that right or, or oil yeah. i it it's not good with the armor i mean i suppose we could actually the yeah the uh, his the, the oil sweat. is not it's like sticky it, it, and the oil is good for the armor the sweat is not good for the armor no. um <sighs> rust while, you know while you guys are discussing his fluid <laughs> um <laughs> Fluid dispersal yeah. system. Come on now. The, uh, uh... <laughs> from 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 around the the edge of the statue, uh, one of the ones that you feel like is one that got away hops out huh? and casts a spell at all of you. So it is a uh, sixty foot line. Uh, I need everyone, or not everyone. I need Riala, Raven, and Narcissus to make a Constitution saving throw. No. Would I have been able to spot her with my twenty-two perception? Mm, no, she was. Yeah. She, you guys were talking about oils, and looking to the south. That's a very she... distracting conversation. <laughs> uh, I regret nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember that your D six has to be used by the end of today. Z. Yeah, I know, but uh. I rolled an 18 on the die, so that would, on, on base, it's going to be 23. I have a feeling it might be good. <laughs> uh, it was in my, I had a d6 in my hand, though. <laughs> what about, uh, I'm sorry, so what'd you roll, Raven? 23. 23. And Narcissus, you rolled a 21. And what about Riala? And. All right. So, yeah. uh,. You do Real? have a d twenty. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, all right, Riala has failed. Um, so Riala takes one, two, three, four, five, six, and six is twelve, fourteen, uh, eighteen, eighteen, and eight is twenty six. 26 and 7 is um, 33. You take 33 points of radiant damage and you are blinded until your next turn. And I'm other... resistant to radiant. Okay, so then you'll take half. The, what, what was the number I said? 30... 33. Three. So, 16. So, so all three of you take 16 points of radiant damage. Uh, but Riala, you are blinded until your next turn. It's like a wall of light. Uh, it's a beam. It's a, so a sun oh, oh, sunbeam. Beam. Oh, it's the other one. <laughs> the other one that blinds you. Both had nice. <laughs> and so we will not use the dice roller. We will roll for <gasps> initiative. Unless you oh. just want to let this person get away with it. Well, huh. oh, no. well. 20. Oh, I forgot to select my token. Darn it! Sorry. All right, I'll change just, it. You uh, can just select it again and then do it, and then. Well, again, is twenty. Yeah. Oh my yes. goodness! Wait, wait. Oh, I didn't. I didn't clear out the turn order. Hold on. So, who was the first one to roll initiative? I, Brendy. You got a twenty. Yep. Hmm. Sledge must have been working on. So, then we still have a couple of. Re, all right, so Riala needs to do. Add as an 18. Add turn. Um. um so which one of those is right, Z? I have advantage. You have advantage. All right, so it's the 24. Yeah. That's. Yeah, from that's one of my items. Like. That's what it should look like then. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Raven, you are at, not surprisingly, the top of the order. Remember, mm -hmm. mon ami, we are trying to take him alive if we can. Right. On. A quick measuring. And it... To get up there. I'm going to make friends with this person. They're well within my range, so I'm going to run over there. Hey. Hello there. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, for some reason, she wasn't expecting that, but uh, that's her own fault. Uh, all right, what you, are you you getting into some uh, some monkey business? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I will start start with a nice crack upside the head. Hopefully, with my fist. That is a twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Or. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Keep going, and we'll see how, ma- see how many times she might be able to possibly keep her concentration. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even think about that. I have to roll every single time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because Sunbeam remains, right? Yes. Yeah, as long as you're making concentration on it, it'll remain... So you, can, you just turn your line. hand and go pew. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, let's see. That is a good one. That's a twenty for the concentration. Dirty twenty. Nice. So that's a con save. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Do it again. That's, that's, that is twenty-two to hit. That hits. All right. I've oh. offset low ACs with big hit point <laughs> pools. Mm-hmm. That is 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And oh, the sunbeam winks out very yes. unceremoniously yes. with a roll of a one. Woo. Alrighty. And on that note, Gloria blows. Another swing. With another 12 on the die, so 22 again. That'll do it. Just just in case, I highly doubt any of these two attacks are going to even drop her, but if so, I'm going for non lethal. Okay. Noted. Point it out there. Noted. Yes. So that is seven points of bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. You know what? And uh, yeah, make another make another con save. It's being stunned. A uh, six. That is a fail. Damn it! <laughs> uh, all right, so you get the sleepy face. All right, so she is stunned. And then I make my fourth attack from my flurry of blows with a montage. Man, monks, am I right? <laughs> All right, so it's a one and a fifteen. So I'll that fifteen or twenty-five to hit. That'll do it. <laughs> one more. Have some necrotic energy. Bring down my arm again. There's eighteen total points of damage. Okay. It's eighteen. All mm-hmm. right. Anything else for you? As and if that weren't enough. <laughs> I still had five feet of movement, so I'm just going to stand right here. All right. Uh, again. All right. Again, is just going to look at how quickly uh, Raven ran and say, I can't run that fast, but uh, I want to see a magic trick. And then he's just going to take a knife and throw it, and I'm going to expend a... Psionic die. Let's see what happens. I roll nine, which is very good. That means I can throw it up to 90 feet away uh, to a spot that I can see. Let's see. I'll say I can probably see over here, right? Yeah, I mean, because the squares don't line exactly up, I'll actually say that from your square, you can see the edge of her because that's the okay. edge of your square and the edge of her square lining up. So, uh, so yeah, he throws the knife over there and it creates like this glowing red slash that hangs in the air. Then he creates another knife in his other hand, slashes the air where he's standing, steps through it, and comes out the other side. And I'm going to use the side oh, on teleport. Oh shit, that is cool. Nice. Um. 
That is super cool. And that is a bonus action. So I'm going to then. <laughs> what? Actually, could I step over here at opposite? Or is that blocked off? Like, is that like a wall there? Um, I'm going to say that that's, it'd be tough because the statue was right there. You Fair could enough. do it, but the difficult terrain would negate your, your flanking. I think he's okay. flexible. All right. Um, but I am going to stab her regardless. Uh, at advantage because she is stunned. Right, is that right? Nice. Oh, wonderful. Which All unfortunately right. means you get your sneak attack damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's a crit. That's oh, a crit. It's so bad. Oh, no. What was that maximized sneak attack and everything? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so yes. that's six mm -hmm. plus. Uh, hmm. That is six plus, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you escaped one fight, 27, man. <laughs> so that is 33 uh, psychic damage to her. You escaped one fight. You can't escape them all. Yeah, she she is looking toe up. <laughs> uh, that is my any, turn. Anything else from, uh, from you? All right, Riala. Uh, Aerith, you're on deck. I am blinded, so I am just going to stand here and look beautiful. I like I to know think the that feeling. you just, you have just like sunlight beaming off of you and Sled just like, oh. Uh, <laughs> reflecting on the I armor. Need, just I like, need to yeah. learn, learn that trick for myself. Do you cast oh, light on yourself or? <laughs> uh, yes, to, I think that you are correct there. Uh, in the in our Zoom chat, that it is more damage than we initially took for her. You took thirty three. Oof. Yeah, because it would be max and then plus the the max plus the rolls. Yes. So sixty nine. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, <laughs> moving swiftly <laughs> onward. I mean, I mean <laughs> the number is serendipitous you know. to say the least. So okay. when I said she was toe up earlier, that was an understatement. Uh, all right, Riala stands there and looks beautiful. Uh, Aerith. I will head on over, I'll move you on over here uh, to right here. And then I'll just aim my crossbow at her and I will try and fire. Um, what I would like to do, I don't think my, uh, I don't think I can do extra attack oh no wait hold on you can attack three times whenever you take the attack action does that mean i can do three crossbows yes what kind of crossbow is it uh ranged weapon light light crossbow light crossbow uh the reloading property messages you up yeah loading yeah. is a yeah. problem if yeah. it was a hand crossbow i think you could but if you it has a crossbow you... expert or if you had a short bow yeah, or a long bow you'd be great yeah but but with loading you can only shoot once one, one piece of ammunition, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it has the loading property, it's... Yeah, fair. All right, I will uh, I will shoot uh, with my crossbow because I can't get over there in time otherwise. Um, Are you st still trying for non-lethal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 21 to hit. Uh, that hits. And that is... Oh, uh, you also attack at advantage because she is stunned. Okay, I, I will do it just in case I get a, a, a crit, but I doubt it. Let's see... Oh, yeah. No, um, I'm good. nine piercing damage, uh, non-lethal, uh, if if anything. Um, how's she looking? Um, uh, worse than you've seen a lot of people. Uh, but she's still up, and she's okay. stunned and just looking worse by the second. All right. Uh, I wonder if I can use my psionic thing. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I can. So I'm going to use a psionic uh strike uh as well. This is added to the crossbow attack, or this is a an actual attack. This is a like a separate attack. Um, okay. So that is nineteen to hit. That hits. And that is six Man. force damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, it 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 doesn't matter because with six force damage she <laughs> is unconscious. I'm assuming you did that non lethal as yeah, well. Yeah, non non lethal. Yep. Yeah. So she is unconscious. I wish these. Uh, Things you could put on them were better defined. We're gonna take off the sleepy face and give her the no Ghostbusters thing. Check the um, pulse. She shouldn't be dead. 
I don't uh, think I shot her too hard. <laughs> I tried to go for the squishy bits. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she is, uh, she's down, but, uh, but stable. Let's tie her up, guys. That's what you do when you keep someone alive, right? New to yes. this. Yes. <laughs> I'm new to the keeping people alive. Yeah, thing. new to new to um, this thing. I, I presume they try and run away when they wake up. We should probably try and stop that. Uh, and so, Riala, you are uh, not blinded anymore. Oh, Sledge was coming over here to to catch some rays and to be. Are you, are you okay? As he's basking in. The... Yeah. Yes, I'm fine. Just a little bright. Yes, so, you um, are. What what did I miss? <laughs> so you guys have her all tied up, bound and tied up? Yes. Yep. If Gen or Raven have, have rope. I do have rope, yes. Boom. I imagine Sledge has rope, but it's like all sorts of oily. I, yeah, have, it I have rope, but I also have manacles. Oh, manacles. Very good. It's like my rope, rope is but so better. Rope. <laughs> I have manacles as well, but they are. Uh... Well, anyway. Um... Fuzzy? <laughs> They're Fuzzy wants to bike too easy. <laughs> All right. Well done. Um. So I assume we want to uh, question this person. Should we uh, wake them up uh, now? <clears throat> as Sledge yeah, has if, telekinetic if... slap on, on hold, right? <laughs> Might be good to check the perimeter and make sure she's not got any friends waiting around any corners. That is a good yes, idea. Yes, that is a good idea. Uh, Aerith will her. start. Aerith will start like patrolling and making sure that there's no one hidden. Yeah, whatever Someone... direction Good she luck. goes, I'll go the other way. Uh, yep. Seeing the other two girls go off, I would start rooting through her pockets, kind of like frisking her to take off any items and stuff like mm. that, and weapons. Yeah, not the, wanting uh, uh, one of the pervy. <laughs> so, similar, similar to the others, she has a healing potion. She's got the uh, the red coins, but she doesn't have the little silver badge. Um, she also has like her component pouch, you know, for for casting and stuff like that. Um, you could make me tell you what was in it, but I wouldn't be happy about that at the moment. Uh, it's in the we'll, bag. We'll What's in the bag? Check. We'll rain check. <laughs> Just that. add a component pouch to the inventory. Um, Mysterious pouch. <laughs> All right, where's everyone going to check things? Uh, so I got where Aerith moved up and can see a little more. Who's going where? I'm basically going the opposite direction of Aerith to kind of like, you know, cross, like meet in the circle. Okay, so you're going this up. Uh... So I'm going down. She went that way. So I'm going gotcha. this way. All right, so move, move to where you want to be and we'll open some. Okay, there we go. Oops. Yeah, cancel that. That would reveal too much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that much yet. Um, I think as, as the ladies separate and Narciss or Narcissus comes up and starts searching through um, uh, this person over here, I, I think Sledge is kind of keeping a central uh, uh, place in here, um, sort of near the, the water fountain uh, area. Just kind of keeping an eye out on his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Raven can see up that hall a little bit more. Um, opening just a little more for Aerith. All right, so Riala, you see kind of at the extreme end of what you can see there uh, looks like a couple of bodies on the ground. Uh, Raven, you can probably just clock maybe a, a blood pool uh, up a little bit. Um, Aerith is pushing continually deeper into the map with no support. And I was oh, yeah, going like, to say, I was going to say, I was going to say, don't do that. But now I'm in love with the fact that you're 
on patrol with no backup. So I'm just going to let you just see what you want to see. She's brave. That'd be one that's word what, for yeah, it. That's, that's what I was going to say. Don't worry. The monk will be there in, in two seconds. <laughs> I will call back down the hall and just say, looks like there's two bodies down this way. All right. Hearing that, I will I will come back. <laughs> Let's see. Um, kind of being in between the two, I'll, I will make sure that the group behind me, um, Riala says she's found some more bodies this way. Uh, There's one well, up there also. Are we, logistical question, um, are how, are, Are you splitting the party? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Nothing ever bad has happened from doing that. Um, what are we doing with uh, our prisoner? Should we... How far forward should we go, in other words? I think we've checked pretty well around this perimeter. I think we're probably clear to do a little interrogation. Who wants yeah. to lead the question? Worst case, we'll do lookouts. We'll just have people keeping an eye. I could always run her back to, to the main room that we were in. Everybody was. I find I can be pretty persuading. Hmm. I will uh, stand here and I will try and keep an eye up hit this way and this way, like trying to look at, you know, keep on like looking at both directions. Okay. From there, you you can probably just clock like just the edge of the blood pool up to the north. You, you can't see a body, but you can see a bit of a blood pool. You know what? Let me have a peek. All right, let me get my tool back out. Just love the idea of someone like stood with their back against a wall with like a bloody knife and then the body <laughs> on the floor and they're just heavy breathing like. <laughs> They'll never think to come up here. They'll never look. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this this is somebody who is um, is dressed differently. So this person is in uh, kind of red, kind of basic, very basic looking red robes, and you would recognize them as a um, uh, someone maybe like in the custodial staff, someone who works here at Candlekeep, you, you've seen, you don't know anyone, but you have seen people dressed like this. And and you, from what you know, they are general workers here. I will drag the body into this hallway so that I and him are in sight. Okay. And I will uh, just yell down to the others that uh, they've killed some workers here. Hmm. Well, it looks like to the, what, <laughs> north and south are bodies. Um, <laughs> that's two directions. We're, we're, we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper to figure out a more direct way to go. Um, should we wake and interrogate uh, now? Figure out why they were here? Maybe get a direction? Uh, everyone were... roll a perception check. Oh. Uh, and is, uh, who has over a 20? I know Z has over 20 on passive. Anyone else have over 20 on a passive? My passive is 20. Yeah, same. So if you have 20 or more on your passive, roll your perception check at advantage. Oh, okay. 20 or more. Yeah, this time. Not, not forever, but this time. Okay. 19 with advantage? 23. Uh, we're 25. Still Still missing some perceptions. I got a, I got a nine. I got a nat one. <laughs> um, I won't I say that we're missing them. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna say that uh, that that Gin and um, and Sledge and what did you have, Raven? Twenty five. Uh, you all for sure hear what sounds like voices. Coming up, coming, you know, not necessarily closer, but from this direction. Um, you, you know that that um, Aerith went there 
and came back and didn't see anything. So presumably it's a little beyond where she uh, had stopped. But you, you for sure hear some voices that way. Excellent. Um, Sledge will kind of, did you hear that? Uh, to um, Aerith. Uh, and is looking down that hall that uh, she just came from. Didn't you just come from there? Did you see anything? I think this is the point where no, I was quiet. No, not at all. I, I mean, there was no <clears throat> bodies, but it kept going and going. I, I just decided to turn back. I didn't think it was safe. Plus, I heard those bodies that way. I figured that's where the action was. Hmm. Uh, if we hear the voices coming, um, do we want to perhaps go around a corner, um, get uh, get in a position where we might be able to surprise or look in on whoever's coming here? You wish that we may ambush them instead of being ambushed. Exactly. I like it, this guerrilla warfare. Very <laughs> good, yes. We fight from the trenches. Well, do your thing there, Sledge. You seem to have a... Uh... Said you had a means of making everyone more quieter because you're all making too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, as uh, Riala gets closer, uh, Sledge kind of comes up here. Ah, uh, yes. So, as I was saying earlier, this really helps keeps things quiet, keeps you limber, uh, range of motion very important in what Make we it do. Quick. And the voices and while, are approaching. And oh. while he is speaking <laughs> loudly about being quiet, oh. you all hear the familiar, the very familiar sound of a crossbow bolt being fired. None of you are hit. Oh. And your, where does it land? Your. <gasps> they killed our person. Prisoner. Oh. Her head is uh, just kind of split in twain with a with a, a crossbow bolt. Damn it! Would can anyone we look like to see if sure. we can determine what direction it came from? Absolutely. Uh, you can actually see that it impacts her. So it it, it impacts her coming from this way. You know, I, I, I could give you a little bit of reveal there. Hold on. It's, uh, they're right next to you. <laughs> Polygon reveal is like the coolest tool, except when it doesn't work and then it's just stupid. <laughs> okay, so there's there's nothing on the side of the statue here. Uh, but but you, you, for sure, it sounded like it came from over here and looking at the way the bolt lays. It was from over here somewhere. Um, you, um, it's tough to show you without going too far in, but this is a, uh, a building front. Come on, buddy, you can show us the world. <laughs> you know, I can show I, you the show world. You. I could, I could. <laughs> but so th this is this is the you know, the outline of a building. That that's kind of what all these blocks you can't see past are. They're they're building walls. Are they shining, uh, shimmering, splendid? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nope. no, nope, they're not. They're just basic basic stone. Um, do you think it'd still be advantageous to do that? Hide. Or yeah, or do they already? Since they already know we're here, should we run into the building? I think we should pursue whoever just shot that crossbow. They yeah. might know we're here, but they might not know where we are. Which still gives us an advantage. Um. So at that, all right, no more talk, people. Uh, the uh, dung bell uh, uh, will kind of come out. He'll grab it and he'll be like, "All right." So the key to any great workout is the sauna afterwards and you almost see him like drop the uh dung bell down and almost sort of like when you add water to this the hot rocks in a sauna it like and almost like this steam comes out from sledge and it kind of encompasses this area as i cast pass without trace 
on the group. Ooh, nice. I, for a minute, I thought you were casting Fog Cloud, and I was like, <laughs> you you brilliant bastard, I think? What are I you doing? Think, I think. Um, so, yes, uh, all of us now get a plus 10 to stealth checks. Um, Wonderful. And can't be tracked except by magical means. Exactly. <laughs> That's uh, so clutch, dude. That goes off, and um, at that point, uh, Sledge is like, and that... Oh, <clears throat> And that is why you always stretch sauna. Um, and uh, yes, and that is it. So we are now past without trace. Well, is the plan to just like duck around the corner and see what these, where these voices are coming from? Are we not worried about the crossbow? I think it was this building uh, up ahead here. Uh, I'm not sure how to get in there though. Um, and we can start, Sledge will kind of take a couple of steps forward uh, towards the, the corpse here and kind of point at this building. Um, I, I think the shot came from here. So with your high perception, you you for sure see that on on kind of this face of it, there's there are no windows. Uh, there's a, a door, but it is securely shut. I mean, it's a, a, like, a, like a, a nice, a big wooden door, it's securely shut. You imagine you would have heard the door opening had the door opened. How tall is the building? Like, can we see the roof? Uh, you can see that, that the building has a top. I mean, it's 25, 30 feet. Is it plausible that the crossbow shot came from the roof? Maybe. Hmm. Is the... <laughs> Get scientific is the angle from. <laughs> uh, I will let you roll an investigation. Roll over a 17 and I'll tell you. Okay, let's give it a go. I just look at Riala. You want me to walk up there? Holy shit. Man. Yeah, like like you you do the, the, just like CSI, like you see it in your head and it traces back and you, you clock enough that it could come from there that you were able to turn to the others and like just with your eyes point up there and those that are immediately around you know that that's what what you think happened is that from the the edge of that roof line yes the uh i'll kind of do the eye shift up um and uh kind of quietly at that point um take a step back because wizard um and <laughs> uh, <laughs> and see how this plays out i'll i'll step forward as you step back <laughs> yes not the only one my question is has it been more than 10 minutes since, since, 10 since minutes the end since... of the last bottle pretty much uh yeah i mean it's pretty close to 10 minutes what, what are you asking about specifically uh my fly is 10 minutes of concentration um, let's say that you are into like your last 30, like, you know, it's coming up close. So I could probably just make it to the top of the building. You could make it to the top of the building for sure. 30 seconds. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll race you. I was going to say, Raven, you look like a climber. I'm actually faster than you with 60 feet of fly speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. she's not wrong. How tall is this building? It's about 30 feet. Okay. Uh, and you for sure see the other guy that, uh, you're pretty sure the other guy that got away, he had never engaged with any of you. Uh, so you, you just weren't super familiar with him. Uh, and I suppose, <laughs> I suppose. that it's time. I mean, unless you guys just think you can talk your way out of it. Sledge hasn't flexed in front of him yet. I mean, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, he obviously doesn't want us to know something, so we're going to try to beat the crap out of him until he gives us information. Ooh. Oh, it's not good for him. <laughs> Did I, uh... Oh, yeah. I'm doing initiative. Get that up there. I thought I clicked it that time, sorry. Yeah, I'll fix it to 16. 
wasted a nat 20 on initiative. <laughs> Don't you hate that? It's oh, never a waste. Man. Um, I am going to say that uh, Raven and Narcissus and the guy up here get a like their sub turn first because those three are where they can all see each other. None of you can see what's happening. So they're going to, those three are going to happen and then we'll get into the turn order. Savvy? Yeah. And I imagine we hear the battle start to kick off and we're like, oh. Yeah, you're like, battle music. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Raven has the highest of those three. So Raven gets first action. Uh, this is just, this is just a little, you know, like a little two foot kind of divider wall between. It's easily hopped. It's okay. I, I, I have plenty of movement. <laughs> Uh, you are right on that message. Uh, apologies. We just, we got into it. This is, we're coming to the end. We're coming to the end. Okay. I will shoot over here. I will make, make friends with this, this person. At... Hello. Is this how all monks say hello? Uh... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Can't you read the, the words hello ran across my knuckles? <laughs> it's a monk and uh, handshake. Can I give right. a fist bump? Roll it up. All right. Uh, the low run, that's a low roll. Seven on the ice, so 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. Maybe 12 points of damage on the first one. Okay. And let's let's see how well he can maintain a stunning strike. Okay, and that's a Constitution. Constitution save. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> oh. uh, I looked. I was like, "Oh, a 14. Oh, it's a four. <laughs> Just hit it when you look at the die, you think it's one thing. <laughs> Yowza. All right, so uh, I guess he is now sorry, stunned. Sorry, buddy. That's all he right. He is the stunned. So, Here it comes. Here it comes. Do, 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 do. Punch it, man. Mm -hmm. Is 24 to hit. Second <laughs> hit. Yeah, 24 hit. <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> That's all right. This is going to get us to a good stopping point after this, so. Oh, more points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And that's going to uh, be funny is when the two of them just deal with him before any of you see what's happening. <laughs> they just throw a body off the roof at you. Why are you reading my mind? <laughs> <laughs> the floor your blows. Okay. Five and a 17, so 27 to hit. Yep. Or very good. Eight, 11, seven damage. Okay. And then attack. Right, that is a 19. Nine was my highest roll there. Nice. Uh, 19 hits. Oh, three. This one will get necrotic damage on it with it also. That is 21 points of total damage between bludgeoning and necrotic. Oof. I'm sorry, how much? 21, 21 between necrotic and bludgeoning. And I'm and I'm stunned through all of this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome sauce. Um. All right. So uh, Narcissus and actually, uh, um, Aerith is on deck uh, because she can get to the roof, and I, I didn't realize that that was what her intent was. So we'll do um, Narcissus, and then we'll do Aerith, and then we'll get into the actual turn order. Should this person still be beating heart by then? <laughs> no, Supposed to be sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm gonna. We tried that before. Look what happened. <laughs> you, yeah, ground crew, whatever. So Just I would say at, at the end of this turn, Pixie, your fly will probably drop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plus, I think they were going to kill them for potentially talking, so I don't know if they're going to talk to us. I'm just going to use my quarter staff so I can do that non lethal damage. Um, okay. Advantage. Yeah. That's only a 14 to hit. Mmm, that misses. Uh, you hop down and swing that staff, and it just whew, right past the stunned and cannot move body. The wings are like starting to fade in and out, so it's like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Uh, anything else for you, Narcissus? Uh, no, I think I'll leave it there. All right, Aerith, do you want to get up there, or do you just want to... This guy can't do anything, because if, so if nothing else, we can go into the turn order, because my guy can't do anything. All right. Um, I mean, I would have <laughs> wanted to go up there anyways to, to try and stop, so I, I will I will expend a, a thing to get up there. Okay, um, so we're in the actual turn order now. So, uh, Sledge, you're on deck. Oh, you mean I can't have two goes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Use your action surge. Uh, you know what? I'll let you, I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. Oh, yay. I'll All right, so it. I'll use my psionic leap. Um, she almost jumps, uh, but almost just then, once she's jumped in the air, begins to just fly up and then land up at the top. She can do that for 60 feet. Um, once I'm up there, um, so obviously my turn would have been to do that. Now I'm now in turn order, I'll do my action. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna hit with my uh, rapier. Do I have advantage? Yes. Okay, so the first one that is 27 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits for sure. <laughs> um, and it's you press shift for the advantage. Aha, it works. All right, and then a 26 and a 28. Uh, why are there? Oh, oh, I, I see. Get, That's I another get three attack. Attacks. You get three yeah. attacks. I'm sorry, I thought you were doing damage. No, um, so seven, 10, 14, uh, uh 17 so plus 14. Maths confusing. Non 21, 21, 31. So this is non-lethal? Non-lethal, yeah. Out like a light. Nice. Sweet. Manacles. Manacles. Um, so what we're going to do, you guys figure out how you're going to get this person down and and we'll, uh, we will end for the night and we'll pick up with questioning next week. Um, but I would like to know how you are going to get this person down. Uh, for, everybody, for everyone watching, make sure that you are in the, the giveaway. So we have two. We didn't take a break. We just pressed on through, and then I ran us like 55 minutes longer than I intended to. Uh, <laughs> we have a full giveaway. We were yes. having fun. Great that's group funny. Uh, longer time. That's, what that's it true. Was, so course. we have two $15 Kraken uh, credit giveaways. We have a 50 and a ten dollar as well, yeah. Hype yeah. chain wow. giveaway and a ten dollar hype chain giveaway. So, so if you're not, make cool. sure that you're in exclamation mark giveaway. We're gonna do that here momentarily. For um, the getting them down, I have an uh -huh. ability that uh, I can telekinetically basically move uh, an object or a willing person. So I'm imagining someone who's unconscious. I could move because they can't. They're an object it. at that point. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's better than what I thought you were gonna say. Is if they're unconscious, they're willing, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> no, oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. Back whoa, that back <laughs> that up. Uh, okay, right, so we'll say that that you can get them down. And uh, are you gonna stay kind of in this area? I mean, are we? Whoa. Is there like a way to get down from there? Can we get like in I the can building? Get in the building. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, is, is... I mean, uh, yeah, Z can get down because he can just run down. <laughs> jump off the, wall, off the roof, yeah. not take anything. And so I, I can literally pick the body up and um, jump off and keep on running. I mean, so without like a ladder, monks, yeah. you'll have to you'll have to figure out. To, yeah, monks, right? You have to figure something <laughs> right. out. You can rope down or you can if burn Raven's another spell gonna, slot. If Raven's going to carry the person, I will uh, use my telekinetic on Narcissus to lower her down. I have a pitten and rope. I will use the telekinesis on yeah. myself to lower myself <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <laughs> We're all 
Oh yes, there, it's, it's I'm happening. just gonna like abseil down. I'm I not will even... tell you all what a great job you're doing from yeah. down below. I'm not even gonna make you uh, roll your acrobatics to uh, climb down. All mm-hmm. right, so you bring this cat down next to the body of his slain companion. Um, this door right here, um, is it locked? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you give it a, you give it a test and it is, it is soundly locked. Um, I think this party might be better had indoors, um, but this door is locked, uh, and he'll kind of, you know, give the, uh, (laughs) Oh no, what could somebody do about that? (laughs) If only we had some roguish fellow here. Uh, <laughs> step aside. Oh, he just takes out his thieves' tools and starts picking the lock. Uh, okay, roll me, uh, roll me your thieves' tools, please. I'm All surprised right. you didn't just barge the door down, Sledge. Well, where do you, uh, uh, so gonna, where do you actually roll that on your roll twenty sheet? Uh, you should actually uh, you can create it a actual skill for it. Because in your case, oh, okay. Yeah, because you can't just roll it off of there because it's confusing, but. I believe you have expertise in it, correct? I believe I do, yes. Uh, just your sleight of hand, it would be the same same value. Yep. Uh, well, it wouldn't because I have uh, gloves that get... Well, no, they, the gloves no, apply to that as well. Yep, That's why I said it. yep. good point. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's uh, a nat 20 anyway. Oh. Dude, oh. like, uh, he almost doesn't even... You think that he puts... He takes the picks out and then almost puts them away and the door <laughs> fucking smooth opens. <laughs> For, for chat, that was a 39. A 39 for yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so a, a, a nat 20 plus 19. Yeah, we like to call that disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's one word for it. <laughs> uh, all right, so you guys gonna hole up uh, in the in this this little room here. Uh, so this is this is just kind of a very basic uh, like reading room. There's a a, a couple of tables. Maybe, maybe they did some research in their tables with some ink wells and and quills and and stuff like that. Um, but no one is no one is in the room. Um, so if you guys would like to move tokens in, I will drag your quarry. Yes, and definitely uh, any windows or or Mm-mm. okay, perfect, perfect. No, um, you, uh, once you shut that door, it's you're you're in here. Does someone want to run through the building real quick? Just make sure no one else is inside. Uh, this this is it. This this little room that's here it. that you're in. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It, uh, it's well, there there may I be. I assume ups- there was a second floor. Well, there may the be an upstairs, but you're you don't immediately see how you would get up there. Okay. Uh, wizards, you know. You know. Um, you know, it's probably fucking wizards. <laughs> that you know that a lot of the buildings here are. Are kind of variations on the uh, Morden Canaan's magnificent mansion. They're variants on that, and so you imagine that there must be a magical way to get in there. Uh, I imagine we're used to that being yeah. hanging out. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. It's the 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 private tavern rooms that you guys are are all those are all extensions, not in real space, off of the main tavern. So you're all very familiar with that. Um, all right, so does everybody move in and, and shut the door for the night? For tonight night? Yes. So I still have a couple of folks outside. Are you guys going to stand guard outside? Or are you going to move into the questioning? Is there any uh, uh, way to get in from the roof when we were up there? Just, or was it just flat? It, it was flat, but again, like like Riala said, there's. Yeah. it seems like there's a second floor, so if you could get in from the roof, you would probably get into that second floor area. If this seems like the only way that you can see to get in and out of, the, of this portion of the building. No problem. Yes, after we're done talking with this person, I, and he kind of, like, looks around and... Yeah, I can, I can bust through there, magically speaking. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Sledge can figure out a way up there. Dig it. I look forward to it. Uh, my favorite thing of all is that you've gone from protecting Candlekeep to now breaking and entering into buildings that are explicitly locked, but that's no. something we're going to work on next week. <laughs> What's an adventure without a little b and What's an adventure without a little b Find out same time next week. Yes. All right. So 